Hello, Hi. it's a crossover oh. catch up. Oh, I thought we were about to do a barber chat. Maybe it's maybe, 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 maybe. You would think we were going to do a barbershop quartet when there's only three of us. I oh, wait, said, uh, um, fuck, I, 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 I just trio. remembered, I just remembered now what the crossover thing I was talking about was. Let's see if I remember when we get All right, there. Alright, say it. Just say it now. Alex no, no, I we'll just see, we'll later, just, bye. we'll just see if I remember when we get there. Just PM it to me so I can remind you later. I will be <laughs> this fine. This is an unnecessary risk. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Alright. So, uh, yeah, we, a lot, uh, I, I guess, like, uh, some stuff happened since we last recorded, uh, in News Now, we got the rematch poll. That's, like, gonna end in, like, three days from this recording. Oh. Yeah. Well, uh, so, uh, let's go over that rematch poll, shall we? I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna go by the actual list. From top to bottom in the actual oh uh email really quickly for the survey so let me just go there very really quickly all right so for the rematch poll we got i am trying to find it for a second let me find it here got it okay from top to bottom Starting off strong with Ninja Turtles Battle Royale. <laughs> Starting off strong by jumping directly out of a 50 foot skyscraper on my head and exploding like a watermelon. Ah, uh, yeah, I get it because turtles and Mars of the Mario Brothers do the turtles. Fair, that, that's funny. You did not yeah. intend all right, that. Alright, so, all. um. Uh, this is so, like... I'm. Oh, so are I'm we going, are we going through the list first and then talking about it or talking about them as we go? I, I, I think I'm just going to... Talk about him as a say... go, Well, I will say, good thing that this is the first one, because, in my opinion, this is the worst option. It, I, is, a, it is not right. a good option. I... There are ways to make the like, matchup interesting, I would... but it would, it, I would if it was going to happen, it would be on a show that doesn't have to end with them all murdering each other. I guess there is, like, one way to do it, because, like, I saw someone suggest, what if it's just, like, an arcade scenario where someone opens up an arcade and it's like a Ninja Turtle Bar Royale and it's all basically like basically very retro style and when they die it's just like game over death basically I am so tired yeah. of old turtle representation where are the other eras yeah I mean it's not specifically old turtles it's just like a, a retro style like uh yeah that, that's 87 so, so the 89 yeah that's the original arcade shit I mean, it could. I mean, it could be like an arcade. Uh, it could be like arcade style, but like have like the 2003 version if you really want or something like that. That wouldn't be arcade style. <laughs> All right, that's what, uh, that, that that's what I want. But the team wants 83, or, or 87. 87. Uh, did I get? Okay, yeah. But point is, is realistically, the team loves 87. The team just kind of loves the TMNT. In general, and that's cool and stuff. But I want to see other eras represented, and quite frankly, I don't think we're gonna get get it through that. The thing, the thing. Okay. Furthermore, Turtle Royale is if you composited them with every version that there's ever been, you could have something interesting. But at the same time, I think there's no less than three of the four turtles that have versions of which every other turtle is dead. So you know. Adds a bit of extra reason to make me uncomfortable watching it. Yeah. Also, also, listen, as someone who just kind of wants Michelangelo to get some sort of justice, it would not happen with this. No. Imagine if they doubled. <laughs> they wouldn't, but it'd be it'd be really. If they doubled down. Really... <laughs> The I mean, only interesting, not, I wouldn't want that the much. only um, interesting thing <laughs> is that Donatello will win because he has tech from the once again the eighty seven series that can just stop time, and I don't think there's any real counter to that that I can imagine. I feel like uh, Leo, Leo just, just controls how... gravity. He can literally just cause like crush them all instantaneously. He is Graviturtle. 
The only one, yeah. hilariously, the only one who can survive that is Michelangelo. Because if he's fully composited, he would be composited with goop. So the only Anyways, one who yeah, could survive a... a full composite fight without Leonardo instantaneously crushing them all into a minuscule mush is Michelangelo. So uh, pretty that's pretty <laughs> that's pretty funny actually. Right, cool, cool. They would br they would bring that up in the fucking post analysis, and Boostick would be like, "You get one, buddy. You can't." Yeah. Have one. I just uh, I don't know why yeah. when, when Hyper brought it up I just imagined like a comment like a, an interaction is just so Wiz you wanna correct any mistakes you made last time no I'm gonna double down I just imagined that <laughs> <laughs> I just that's just the how the episode ends is just on that <laughs> just the, all right all right we hear you loud and clear you don't want us to get on Michelangelo. You know, we've been raised as good little boys and girls, where if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. They skip Michelangelo's analysis. <laughs> Just skip it. Uh, Donnie does anyway, generally, like, have a lot of interesting stuff going on, but I, I just... Okay, I just so... think, like, what like, he's got to actually set it up, take it out, get it ready. Leo can just raise his hand. And then, mm -hmm. like, just grab a turtle crush. Mm -hmm. Now, all of this, all of this is to say, this isn't even the main reason I think this is the worst option. Other options that we'll get to later, obviously they're here for a different, more petty reason that I just think functionality does not work with the form at all that they're going for. But more importantly, this takes away way too much. I think I saw someone on team say, just because it's a rematch doesn't mean these characters can't come back later. And I don't want to call bullshit. But I will say, it's going to take so much interest away from those ideas. That's just how it works. And it's, it's and four characters. Not only, we, only, one of them, only one of them's gotten the solo episodes. Yeah, <laughs> not only would we lose out in the solo episodes. The team episodes. We would lose group. out on the TMNT. Yeah, the actual team episodes. That's the main thing people want TMNT for on Death Battle, is to see them as a team actually doing team stuff. Either against Ninjago or Ruby. Me personally, I'll let you go first. I'll let you go first. Sorry. Like, both of those, I would love to see be an official episode one day. Obviously, Ninjago probably has the higher demand. And Ruby, I'm going to be real, in semblance forever is hard carrying that matchup for me. But, re but point is, team matchups, uh, so we don't get them enough. We don't get Royales enough, but Royales take too much focus away. Whereas a team matchup, it's easier to focus on pacing and focusing on the story beats that you need to in a more efficient way. And the animation dynamic doesn't need too much focus taken away as hey, because in the end of the day, it's still going to be one big fight in that segment into a whole bunch of smaller fights. We need more team fights. And this Royale would just take that opportunity away with probably the best team to do it with. Yeah. I just realized if it was fair, I would be so into TMNT versus Fantastic Four. If that was actually fair, it dawns on me I would I probably actually really like that. But god it's not. I you have just you just made me realize under the same circumstances of it was if it was fair. Shredder versus Doctor Doom sounds so raw. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. The thing, the thing with me with Ninja right. Turtles and Death Battle is that the way they go about them, I just, I just don't like it. Like the soft composite, I'm left with a character that's not the one I like, and like, I that's fair enough. That was good. Like, no matter what you do, you're gonna end up with a version of the character that someone's not gonna like. But they basically, it's essentially this made-up version of the character for the episode Death Battle that doesn't really appeal to anyone, but either those who are who don't care about, like, specific versions and just like the character in a void, or people who aren't familiar enough with individual versions. I, I really like the Granted. 2003 Turtles. I also quite like the original live-action movie Turtles. And I'm, I'm a fan Jim of Henson the... Jim represent? I'm a fan of... Yeah. I'm a fan of the, uh... 07 movie, I think it was. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm a rare yeah, fan... Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, a rare yeah. fan of that movie. <laughs> Uh, but I actually really like I actually I actually really like that movie and I was happy to see it represented in the original Death Battle when I was watching it first when I first watched it. Yeah, and then then you re YouTube. then you rewatched it and you went, "What do you mean that movie doesn't really make a lot of sense in the first place?" And that's why you're disregarding that entire sequence. <laughs> 
I don't. What do you mean? Not to say the movie makes the perfect. Not to mean to say the movie makes perfect sense, but <laughs> I enjoy it. Uh, but the, yeah. the the versions of Turtles we got original Battle Royale had no personality whatsoever apart from Raph angry. Uh, that was yeah okay whatever. Uh, Leonardo Zitz basically nothing. Shredder Silver Samurai was mostly 2003 Shredder represented, even though he looked like 87 Shredder, so... Uh, half of me was like, that's cool. The other half of me was like... So, you're portraying him as 2003 Shredder with the design of 87 Shredder, the super form of movie Shredder, and the analysis focuses on 2012 Shredder. What? I'd be like... I mean, if we're gonna go for a composite, that's not the worst way to go about it, because every little bit does get some sort of spotlight, rather than just... Focusing on a full-on amalgamation that doesn't please anyone. But it is this is a full-on amalgamation that doesn't please me. Like, the more I watch that episode, the well, more that specific thing bothers me. That's not a version of the Shredder that I like. That's that's not a version of the Shredder that I'm attached to. And then Leonardo vs. Red Ranger Jason is... You know, it very... It, honestly, it's not any version of Leonardo that I'm aware of. Uh, um, I was going to say... Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure... It's not 87 sure it's Leo. 87 it's Leo. not 87 it's Leo. 87 Leo is not like that silly radical dude guy. At best, it's Turtles Forever 87 Leonardo. And Turtles Forever is infamous for butchering the 87 characters and making them all into Michelangelo. 87 Leo, in the majority of episodes, is honestly like a pretty serious guy. Like, he has his goofy moments like all the Turtles do in that show, but he's a pretty serious, come on guys, stop goofing around sort of guy. Like, he wouldn't be like, BEHOLD yeah. THE IMMORTAL TURTLE! He's very, Maybe like, he... laid back. Yeah. He's very laid back. Maybe that's a Rise Leo thing. I still haven't gotten around to watching Rise. I will. Shut up about um, it. Um, I... No, that... Not you, dude. That, sa that sounds... That sounds about right. I, that sounds like Rise Leo, because Wrath is the leader of the turtles in that version. Yeah, so that, that's, that's an... That's an interesting I... subversion. Yeah, it, but it's like I, I, I was kind of mixed on it when I first saw it, and like over time, I'm like, hmm. But at the same uh, time, I understand the sentiment. They don't want to leave out any particular versions because, like, oh, I wanted this version, and especially for Jason, like, I get it. But it's still like uh, just mm. the problem for right, me listen. is just that me watching, I'm not getting a character I'm attached to, but they do look like a character I'm attached to. But I, I'm just not invested. Like, I don't have that personal investment. Because it's not like, this is the version of Leonardo that I really like. With the depression arc that really connected with me. And his difficulty with handling failure. Even when it's really not his fault. And blaming himself for it. Uh, that's really not the Leo I'm getting here. This is not the Leo that I like. That is my favorite character in the franchise. Uh, I love 2003 Leonardo. It's just, he's just a... It's a Ninja Turtle cliche. It's, it's the... Every, what every parody of Ninja Turtles tries to make out every single Ninja Turtle as being. Uh, Leonardo versus Robin Supremacy, by the way. 2003 versions, respectively. Yeah. Anyways, that took way... I, took, I, I did not expect us to harp on that one for so long. Let's just well, I, I, I got one more thing to say, just real quick. Okay. Um, if we do get TMNT in the future, I would like it if we could specify specific versions, or if you're going to do a composite... Uh, hmm... Going to battle composite is tricky, but Shredder isn't the worst way to do it. If you can build off of that, I think you got. I think you'd be cooking. Me, I'm and... just gonna say, anyone listening to this who makes rap battles, someone make TMNT versus the DK crew. Someone do it. All right. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Next now, one if we... is Mario versus Sonic. <laughs> I like it. I think it's overhated. I think people were saying it's like. Well, I mean. Doing it now would be... Hey, Bowser yeah. Eggman's right yeah. around the corner. That's, the, I, I that's the problem. Not. That's the problem right there. Bowser Eggman's right there. Not to mention, Mario's gotten basically nothing new since last time. Let him let him get some stuff. He's got a hat and he's got an elephant form. I don't... Yeah, because like obviously people were like against Goku Superman 3, but then it happened and it was really awesome. And I think the same can be happening with this. It's just... I don't think it's, now is the hmm. time to do it. I will note that, it, that since Goku Superman kind of 2, in itself. since Goku Superman 2, let's take a th if you just think about what they got. Goku got proper scaling. He got Ultra Instinct, multiple variants. He got the giant Ultra Instinct Super thing, and they gave him like hero stuff. And Superman basically got confirmation Became that ev every single version of him, or like the main versions of him, Golden Age, Silver Age, Post Crisis, and New Fifty Two, 
where the same guy split up and now he's reformed into Rebirth Superman who is like a in-universe composite of them all, meaning now he has access to all the he's powers also, they purposefully ignored in the first two versions. He's also yeah. he's also a himbo. <laughs> he does yeah, have so himbo like, energy. I he's think, always had that. He's a farm boy. I do think yeah. there's potential for this to uh, for this to all happen, right. but it's just mainly Listen. on Mario's end. I would rather wait on. I think Sonic has gotten like a good amount of stuff since then. Uh, here is my it. issue. Um... So we're talking about Goku versus Superman, using it as a direct comparison. Uh, yeah, because I feel like people. Uh, no, no, like yes, yes, that's what I want. Yes, that would be everything to solve this. It also feels a little bit redundant to just kind of take the same approach to the same. Oh no, not the same approach. Not, not the same approach. I'm just comparing it to more because, uh, like, I don't like. I don't like doing like same approaches to like similar things because like obviously this is Mario well, versus Sonic. Do your own. All right, thing with this, it. Is but loose, I, I, this is I a mean, loose. This is a mean loose situation for me because no, like, no, no. Let me let me finish. Let me finish. So basically, you cut I me mean, off. <laughs> let me. So basically, it, it's just because like obviously I was just basically saying because like people were saying ah oh, three times like that's just kind of redundant at that point. It's like but then like Goku's Superman three could be good. It was good. So why can't this? Like I think that's just kind of like the point. No, that, like, that's be good. Because Goku, that's as as much I'm, as I'm not a fan not of I mean. Mario vs. Sonic 2, at the very least, it is an episode of Death Battle. No, objectively, it's an episode of Death Battle. One that I will say things about. Nothing nothing too harsh in this video, because there are people who work on the show watching it, and I want to maintain my friendship. I love you guys. But more important... Yeah. But I, more importantly, <laughs> um, that's not, that's not what I mean... What I mean is, I don't want a second rematch in general. I, I mean, I'm kind of stuck in this limbo. Because I don't want it to just be Goku vs. Superman 3, but Mario and Sonic. But I also don't want it to be them throwing beef at each other, acting like the rivalry is still going strong when it's been dead and buried for decades. I, There's so many Mario vs. Sonic vs. animations. Not a single one has a friendly dynamic. So, do you keep that tradition going that's really annoying and out of character? Or do you do something that's only get, going to get compared to Goku versus Superman? I just want to bring up... That's I kind of the limbo I, we're I want at everyone right now. to know that I love... I, I, I mentioned before, I love the dynamic the two have in the commercials for the first Olympic Games. I love that. I love the idea. They're good friends, but they do mess around with each other. They, 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 do, they do goof off. They, do, they play pranks, but they're bros. I love that dynamic they have. Makes me smile. Those prank, those pranks does not include Sonic throwing races. He's just that slow. I just like I like Sorry. the idea that, that Sonic uses his speed to like like just mess around with Mario before he notices, while Mario uses his brute strength to just do things that like Sonic really has no counter to, and like they do that in as their dynamic for their pranks. It's just fun. It it it's really fun. I do think. The biggest issue, besides what I said, is that not only is Bowser vs. Eggman here, there's another option that I have so much more to talk about that is literally down this list. And it's also Sonic related, so... I will also yeah. say that the new stuff Sonic got... Um, now, to be clear, I think Goku vs. Sonic is a bit lame, but the new stuff Sonic got definitely plays into that matchup way more than it plays into Mario. I can't, I, I, I've said it before, I can't see someone looking at the Frontiers boss battles and going, Ah, yeah, Mario's gotta fight that. That's what I want to see Mario fight. I, yeah. like those, I like those boss battles because one of the finishers was inspired by going on Ishikawa from the Panda Third. I like it because you can just spam Rider Kicks. I, it, he punches <laughs> very good. I think it looks very cool with very awesome music. But like as much but, as yeah. as much as like the verse community has gotten used to the like that Super Mario Bros. Z whatever style animation, um, they have played a Mario yeah, game, an... right? They do know how Mario does things, right? <laughs> they do know yeah, he's not actually thing. throwing out ultra combos. Yeah. Mm. All right, to roast Mario vs. Sonic 2 a little bit, it doesn't feel like Mario, does it? That's kind of the issue. We might run into that again. Actually, I will like looking back at all like the various like Mario animations that the that the commu that Versus has made in general. 
The first Mario Sonic is probably one of the only times it feels like actual Mario, because he's not out here throwing these ridiculous combo strings out. He's just spamming power-ups, jumping, doing his silly things. Like, he's doing Mario things. Like, that's what I see Mario doing. Oh, in a, in a pinch, how about instead of a 500-hit super combo, I just use the Fire Flower! Woohoo! <laughs> that's Mario! Or, that's the guy! Or, I... Or I can rip off my own skin. Yeah, or you can rip off his own skin, get mad at Sonic for stealing his chair, and then, like, start viciously beating him up over it. Or, you know, kick him in the balls. Yeah. Claw his back open with fucking Family Guy, I you said, Seth MacFarlane's cavalcade of gonna, cartoon I comedy that. feud. Like, okay, up. I... I, I said I said I would do a slight rose, a slight That's... you know just I'm I, I'm I, I'm I'm doing a sw slow. I don't mind roasting because I feel like adding a little. I like to imagine <laughs> that they will they they were aware of some of the problems with that older episode, and if they do a rematch again, it would be a lot better. It would be a lot better. I think chances are it would be the best of the three, most likely. I well, just, best of the two that we've talked about so far. This is the second. I mean, like, I mean, like, of the Mario vs. Sonic episodes, if they did a rematch, chances are it would probably be the best of the three. It would have like the production yeah. values of the second, though, without any of the weird stuff that goes on in that animation generally, but also the the power up usage and variety of the first. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like uh, okay, 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 it would probably be sprites. I want to say. We have not gotten a single 3D Sonic episode. I don't know how to feel about that. Uh, I yeah. I would I would hate for them to finally do one. It's meh at best, and people are gonna be like Sonic and Death Battle had a rough transition in the, <laughs> the 3D. Hey, go fuck yourself. Honestly, I would hope they say that if the 3D episode was great, and they just say that because it's funny, instead of making fun of Death Battle. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be quite amusing. Uh, uh, all right, you know what? I would accept that. Okay, next one. Like playing Master into Chief the Doom guy, I, I want to yap about this. Uh, oh, it's first it's of all. the it's the matchup. Yeah, that's yeah, probably is, maybe. Yeah, this, I, yeah, actually, this, I'm not gonna say is, if it's win or is, not. I'm just gonna wait and see. Well, I'm, I'm just gonna say it. This is this is the one that's gonna win. Uh, I, I'm not that. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not that silly. Unless are uh, they gonna I'm be two winners? Silly. Uh, there's there's a theory th thrown around, but nothing was ever confirmed yet. Then I so fucking lied to. Yes, people lie to you. Welcome to the community. How, how, have, you, how have you been? <laughs> I trust the people that I talk to regularly to not lie to me. I'm not saying Twitter lied to me. I mean people that I know lied to me. Damn. You've but, been uh, Someone Master is Chief losing Doom their guy. balls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Master Chief Doom guy slash Doom Slayer. I mean, it's the same guy. I know people saying isn't Doom guy a different character. Flynn! Character. John versus Flynn! John one one seven versus Flynn Taggart. There he is. It's Flynn. They are absolutely the same guy. The fucking code to get the first two Doom games in Eternal, I believe, is just Flynn. Is it? Is it just Flynn or is it Flynn Taggart? I don't remember if it's his full name or just one of his names. Fucking pretty much self confirming, outright. They're both Flynn Taggart. They're both Flynn Brack. Uh, Quote, fly, quote, tag it. Okay, anyway, um, I started playing Halo 3 with Hyper earlier this year, back in March. I really want to edit that and make it a video because, my god, that was one of the funniest sessions in gaming ever. And I also got Doom, the first one. Really fun. I want to get back into it. I'm eager to learn more, learn more about these franchises, and I just want Halo to have more episodes that Red versus Blue again, or at least have the same amount. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, because, like, uh, of all the options, this is, I believe, the oldest episode out of all of them. It's also been the what? most requested rematch of the show, bar none. Hypo. I think. What the fuck did you oh, just wait, no, say to me? TMNT. Is TMNT. <laughs> we literally started with that, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah no. Okay, the one that people want. And Mario Sonic. Uh, God, I guess. I Wait a minute. Is the list okay. in? Is the list in order of when the episodes came out? Oh wait. It is. Huh. Okay. 
You're not beating the stupid allegations, I'm sorry. Yeah. To be clear, I've never actually looked at the list itself. I didn't know what order they were in. Literally three entries in and I got it. <laughs> huh. This is Damn, why we okay. keep you around though, Hyper. You keep things Yay. fun. Anyways, um, I, I would say, okay, but like Master Chief Doom, it got, uh, Master Chief Doom Slayer is like with basically two FPS shooters, which is like uh, this particular series, like FPS shooters and shooters in general, to be honest, with like, with, with like you gun focused combat you is very rare. Are you explaining Master Chief versus Doom Guy to the audience right now? <laughs> the, the 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 most requested matchup. I'm just yeah, I'm just rematch. I'm just saying my perspective on it. I'm just saying my perspective. It's basically, it basically, it basically my I'm just saying that my perspective my perspective is that look, it's I, the big fucking boys the never of the FPS super soldier genre of video game. They're the big lads with only Mr. John Wolfenstein over there counting. But nobody cares about him getting in death battle. So it's really just these yeah. two. They are the, the big yeah, super know. soldiers I, I just... who copied Warhammer 40,000, which copied Starship Troopers. Yeah. I just want to see more FPSs on the show and shooters in general because gun combat is something that's not as used, to be honest. And I would really like to see this one. I think it would be really, really cool, especially since these two have gotten a lot of new stuff since their first episode. I mean, episode. Doom, especially, Doom Boy Especially has. Slayer. Yes, uh, especially Chief, Slayer. I don't yeah. know what Chief has gotten other than the grappling hook, to be honest. Uh, there's the, I know there's, like, new weapons in uh, the new Halo games, and I think he got, like, an, another new AI. I'm pretty certain. But, <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, these... But yeah, no, uh, Slayer is basically just a completely new character at this point with a ton of new stuff and even has his own AI that can like interact off with Cortana, which they'll probably, they, they'll probably have, they probably, I, I think both of those AIs are out of commission if I remember correctly, but fuck it, they'll use them both. They can end up with Cortana, AI generate an image of me winning. Why? Because I want <laughs> something nice today. Then just dies. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I I think it would I I uh, man, this is just a scene, but I think it, uh, I think a raw scene was this Cortana hacking Slayer, but then Slayer responds by just destroying the uh, destroying the AI in his suit, and then grabs Chief and turns damages his suit and turns off Cortana, and Chief gets really pissed and he pulls out the blade, and then Slayer pulls out his own blade. I think that a sequence like that would be raw as hell. I will know everyone likes to talk about Angie Sword versus. The Crucible, but me personally, as cool as cool as that is in concept, um, I would really struggle to buy the energy sword lasting a, a, a one clash against that fucking thing. It's it's, it's a hard I, sell. I, I it's a hard I, I sell. Will, <laughs> About as hard a sell aware. as the bubble shield blocking the BFG but not stopping him from throwing a sticky bomb out of it. About as hard a sell as that, to be honest. I'm aware that that thing is just like it just kind of walks through Chief, but I won't lie. Um, there. I'm not by that there thing, is. to be clear, by that thing, he was referring to Doom Slayer in general. Yeah. yeah yes. <laughs> yeah, but uh, um, I won't lie. I I don't know if there will be debate, but I know there's some Halo novels that pretty much almost no one has looked into, and. Uh, from apparently another one of Bungie's games because they write their stories pretty similarly to Halo like for example Destiny I know it's a completely different series but novels in that one get pretty freaking crazy like cosmic level stuff so like, I've there read, could be some stuff I've read that, uh, Fall of Reach I don't remember there being like any crazy feat in that at least great book by the way okay but there could be something I know there's like I know there is like some I know like specifically the flood scale to that higher stuff or specifically the hive mind, but I, I know Chief doesn't really scale to that. But like, there could be stuff uh, no. like that for him. It, it'd help against the Tyranids, I doubt it. Uh, but not much. And they already yeah, win all I their other matchups, it. so they don't really need it. Yeah, I doubt. I doubt. I, I doubt it. But like, if it's there, then like there could be something. It would be really funny if Chief somehow still won. If it He's somehow the, exists there, they'll probably give him the speed advantage at least. I know that's, oh, no, that's no, no, in general, that's in contention, because people found, like, faster Doomslayer stuff, but they're gonna give 
achieve the speed advantage. At the very least, they're going to go, oh, he's a little bit faster, and also he's smaller, and he's more maneuverable, and he's like, he shows greater, like, agility when he fights, if you notice. Uh, they're going to do that, and they're going to make Chief, you know, at least have that one. You get one, buddy. Yeah. I, I don't know, it's just, uh, I, I think the way they could present it, like, if, if there isn't any of that for Chief, like, the way they could present it is just, like, Slayer's, like, physical stats are obviously higher, but not, like, none of the cosmic stuff, all certain weapons, like, obviously that stupid freaking blade would get on that tier. Yeah. And, yeah, and it would basically be more of his, like, tactics and stratagems mixed with his speed versus Slayer's brute force and strength. That would be really cool. That would be a really cool way. And obviously, I don't know if anyway, the budget. I don't know if the budget would allow for it, but it would be really cool if there were like demons and the co and the covenant in the background. Yeah, that's not happening. Other. It's gonna it. It's yeah, either anyway. gonna happen in a field in hell or inside of a ship. Uh, though the latter would definitely fit better hey. for Gordon versus Isaac. But I just mm -hmm. want. I just want Master Chief to use the hammer so he can corpse launch someone because that's the funniest fucking weapon in the video game. Player also has a hammer, <laughs> so like, <laughs> yeah, he has a fist it's too. Yeah, Dude, it's... No, no. fucking imagine if Chief gets sent out. <laughs> it what should happen like... is Chief goes for the gravity hammer, and then uh, Slayer just catches it, takes it from him, and smacks him with it. Dude, he fucking rags dolls like he's in G mod. D the fucking Doom Slayer, if he got the chance, would throw that thing like Mjolnir. Like he he would just launch that thing at Chief if he had the chance. I pretty like I know I'm pretty sure you can't do that with the Sentinel Hammer in uh, Eternal, but absolutely he would like just as a character. That's something I feel like he would do. Just take it, take the hammer and just toss it at someone full force. All right. Um, you did have my permission so, to talk. Do we have it? A... Yes. Uh, do no, we have? That's. Do we that, have it? A... Anyways, next one is. Uh, anyways, that one. I really hope it wins, and it probably has a good chance of winning. But I'm not holding my breath on that. Uh, next is Zelda versus Peach. Anyways. I forgot that there was. I for. I forgot this one was happening. Can we skip it? Wow! I can't believe you're that misogynist. Damn. I'm not misogynist. Cooking I, in the kitchen like any I, good woman should. If any, that if season, any, if that season any, one episode was crazy. Shut the man. hell up! <laughs> if there are any women out there who want to voice act, I would love to have you because I would love to do CDI Zelda versus Cartoon Zelda. So that's somehow even closer. Oh, that's, that's somehow even closer than Link Link, and I have no idea who should win because <laughs> they're oh, both just objectively fun, man, significantly more powerful than their respective Links. I think the only case. Like the only scenario where the Zeldas are that much more powerful, because CDI Zelda is the only character to one v one Ganon in a direct fight and win in that series, uh, and he's got a he's got a feat, and Cartoon Zelda has the complete Triforce. Crazy. Anyways, uh, Zelda Peach, I get it because they're both well. Peach got her solo game, and Zelda is getting her own Zelda game solo game. Zelda has solo I games. <laughs> yeah. And anyway, Zelda. Zelda anyways, yeah, don't Zelda's don't don't ag don't, don't ignore it. Don't, don't ignore it. Don't ignore it. I just we were we Zelda's were girl solo game. We were. I don't. We were literally just. I don't have like a Zelda he, matchup I particularly like, but Peach has options. She has Bobby. She has Maria Renard. There are options Maria. for Peach. Maria. That's going to be plot relevant. Maria. In a Chekhov's gun. But yeah. Uh, Zelda, not only, I mean, not only am I, but one of the many people who would just love to see a Zelda episode where you're not got a Triforce wielder, that would be great, but also, can we not have six Legend of Zelda episodes where they're just the same three characters? <laughs> I didn't even think about that. It's so funny. Link twice, Ganon twice, and Zelda twice. Oh my! And Lord. only, only one of them fought two different people in this in this hypothetical. Only one of them got two different opponents. And one of those episodes was Ganon versus Bowser. 
I want to oh. talk. I want to. I also want to mention. I also want to mention that all three of their runbacks are all going to lose. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. It it hurts to be a Zelda fan in this. I just realized how insane it is. Like, uh, like the the Death Battle community can say something like it's fucking Bowser versus Ganon, as if some normie who doesn't know what Death Battle is probably wouldn't think, "Hey, that sounds pretty cool," without knowing what it is. What a community yeah. this is. <laughs> what what a uh, life yeah. we lead. It's, it's so like I I I okay, in a vacuum. In a vacuum, the concept of it I I can, I can understand like you can do like some neat stuff with it, but I would honestly rather have different options for both. Guess what? They have different op- options. I I hope let's exactly. see if Bowser actually wins his run back. He but wait. Loses. If if he loses, Eggman versus Bowser is gonna be on this poll. Like they're gonna go back in time and have it. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, genuinely, the only reason Bowser Ganon might not be on this poll is because they're doing Bowser Eggman. Genuinely, oh genuinely, I'm just saying. You know, given yeah, the yeah, absolute yeah. state, isn't there only one season two episode on this poll, and it's that one? Yeah, yeah. I think Actually, the no, one coming up. No, there's no, there's one. There's another one. Two, three. There, there are more. I, no, there's three. There's oh, three okay. season two episodes. There, I'm not like well versed on the okay. list. I've not really looked at it much. I just know what I want. Which at this point, right. as much as I've been someone who's never really been too supportive of Chief versus Slayer, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the one here. Awesome. Anyway, you can move on because uh, no one really cares about Zelda versus Peach. I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. Uh, next up is Terminator Robocop. Anyways! Alright, so this is... This is one I'm not fully against, but it should be less of a rematch and more of a remaster. Just do the same same episode with better animation. Yeah, I think the choreography is pretty much perfect. I don't want a different version that looks better, but is a, a third the length and does less and is less, probably gonna be less entertaining overall. Not to say it'd be bad, but there'll just be less to it. And yeah, I like, love, that one went, like, I love the, hard. I love the pacing of the first one. I think the pacing is, like, aside from, admittedly, the kind of abrupt-ish ending, I think the pacing is is, incre- is, imme- is immaculate on that first episode. Yeah, no, it is, like, I, I, honestly, I, it's probably my, I, like, I, like, counting, like, the episodes here, like, honestly, I think this it, is probably it, my favorite episode, like, of, like, the original episodes placed here. I think it ages better than I can give it credit for because the stiff and robotic movement kind of works in his favor. Kind of crazy. They're robots. Who would have thunk it? It definitely um, fits Robocop. I, yeah. I don't think. I don't think the intention. I don't think they could re- replicate intentional jank to really match that energy. That's the problem. Hmm. If you actively also be, the conclusion to- would not go nearly as hard. Adding numbers yeah, and no, stats and calculations. That's not going to be nearly as hard as going, here's everything the Terminator died from. Here's everything that, that, like, all of that that happened to Robocop and didn't work. Now, even if that didn't exist, Robocop still wins anyway, because he's a real man. <laughs> like, that's just awesome. devastating. It, it, that, whole, that whole conclusion has the same energy as, like, the start of Flash Quicksilver's. Which is still, like, the yeah. benchmark to me of the ultimate just fuck you opening line, like, opening to a pretty, conclusion they've ever done. Yeah, I love much. that. It's like, as fast as Quicksilver know, was, Flash was just much, just much, much faster. Much faster. <laughs> it's the way he says it! <laughs> it's not even meant to, like, shit on Terminator. It's just the hype up Robocop. Yeah, the, it works so well. <laughs> Terminator Robocop, can, like, I think the whole, the whole episode I still really like. I think the way the analyses handled them was, in, like, really well, and I don't think a new episode would quite capture the same energy. I, it would still be hmm. good. I, I still think they would do it good. But I just, I feel like it would, it, it, for one thing, I think the analyses would be a bit shorter, uh, chances are, as, along with the fight. The whole episode would be probably about... 18 minutes long, roughly, 18, 19 minutes, uh, which I don't think is terribly different to the original Robo- Terminator Robocop. That was like, what, like, uh, it wasn't that long an episode, check. I don't think. Like, I it feel like... It was... I have it right here. 
please check for me. This is going to sound this is going to sound really pretentious, and I don't mean in a don't vote for this. Okay, ni- it's nineteen like minutes forty three seconds. So the length, uh, the overall length wouldn't be different, but I feel like the length would be allocated differently, uh, in a way that I'm not gonna be a fan. All right. Yeah, I think overall, this episode's just kind of fine as is. It's, yeah, I'm not against it having a matchup, but it has its own legacy that doesn't really need to be expanded upon. Yeah. Plus, I, I'm, also I, I like material-wise, they, also the material-wise, they haven't gotten anything new. In an interesting sort of way. That's not true. Terminator got a new job of status. Terminator went from... Yeah. Terminator just keeps getting shitter with every movie. It's like, first movie, borderline unstoppable. Second movie, somehow, they're still unstoppable, but the other guy is even more unstoppable. Third movie, still unstoppable. The other one is more unstoppable, but less unstoppable than one from the last film. Fourth movie, just gunned down en masse, and then it just keeps going down, that downward spiral from the third onwards. They just get gunned down like fucking like it's a video game. What Robocop get? Yeah. He got a, a I think the reboot was after the death battle, I think. Uh that's, that's not true. gonna be used and it's not very good anyway. I mean, you know, I don't hate I yeah. don't hate the new the, the reboot Robocop, but like comparatively, it has none of the source, the social commentary, the entertainment, the sheer fucking gruesomeness. There was also a game too that looked pretty cool. For both of them. They're, they're games for both of them uh, that have come out. Oh, since. I think. I'm not, I'm not, I think. Anyway. Even worry, if we were that fully on board with, even if we are fully on board with this being the rematch, I think its biggest issue is that it's not going to be the casual crowd pleaser because the target de- target demographic of this matchup is going to be like people who are in their forties. I'm not even saying this is an insult, but more so an observation. This feels like that would be leaning towards their crowd. Hi, Ducko. Yeah. And I, I don't... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sorry to, I'm sorry to shoot them like that. They might not even be watching this. <laughs> They're probably not. They're not going to comment. Uh, Unless that... Biff Weed, like, shoots them a message, yeah. like, hey, can you reply to this? Just to throw them off. <laughs> and now he's not going to do that, because I said he would. But now that I've said that I'm not expecting him to, well, we've entered a loop, haven't we? Your move. Crazy. Or, Your move. Or, or, or did it pre Wrong. <laughs> anyway, um, imagine he does it when, preemptively, when you, and I say 40-year-olds, and he's like, okay. And then you brought this up, and he's like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, so next one. Gara versus Toph? <laughs> Okay, we can actually skip this one. Yeah, can we skip it? Like, honestly, like, there's no reason. <laughs> yeah, you laugh hard, I'm but you're like, fucking Vegeta versus Vegeta in my mood right now! I forgot that was there! <laughs> 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 I'm becoming mood of her blood, Rick! She can feel the votes, even if they aren't being selected. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is for right, only the so... result. There is n- nothing. What has? What is the point in doing this? All right, oh boy, all right, all right. Top has Let's done just... jack all, and Gara is just like... Oh, here's this... Alright, let's just go this one step at a time. Let's say you want a devil's advocate for this one to the best of your ability. We're already getting an Avatar episode. Naruto yeah. versus Luffy is a incredibly popular so or in we are in no shortage of Naruto options in general. In general Gara yeah. has more popular matchups these days in the sense between Crocodile and another One Piece character, I'm pretty sure. Katakuri. Um there is no animation dynamic at all. It is Gara brutally murdering a little child? <laughs> instantly. No, they could use. And I mean, see, it would be interesting see, if they used the and, adult and, Toph, and, but like no one's there to see adult Toph. She's barely in Korra. She's really yeah, just old Toph like, in that. I yeah. did the I did the gritty in front of Toph's voice actress. I am not about to watch her die immediately. And so yeah, no, I met her. <laughs> I literally met Toph's VA. I literally met Toph's VA. I don't want to see her come back. Oh I'll yeah, in, in that whole fucking bit where you saw a bunch of VAs. And didn't fucking me- mention me to any of them. Just didn't, didn't get I a message Rina to me. I told Rena too, and she. I told Rena too. That was not on me, and I also was wasting too much money. 
Okay. Oh, so I'm a waste of money to you, huh? Okay, I see how it is. <laughs> ah. You did that to yourself. Anyways, uh, I, uh, anyways, the original episode's perfect because Toph already won and they don't need to improve upon it. The original episode has a good analysis. I like the analysis. And I, I, the, and I, the, and I, I love the conclusion, ironically, because it is so fun. Ironically, it's great because the conclusion is he has no reason that Toph actually wins. Here's the reasons Toph can keep up vaguely. Here's the reasons um, Toph can he, even get into it, the fight at all. Here's 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 Gara's biggest weaknesses, which don't even apply to him anymore, and they didn't at the time of the episode. Here's let's just not bring uh. up the fact that Gara got significantly better feats in the analysis. Let's just ignore that. How does Toph get past the 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 speed of sound barrier? Uh well, clearly, uh, it's because she can see that it's there. And you know, Rock Lee probably would have like won if he could see the sand was there. Unfortunately, the sand's just invisible. That's what really yeah, stopped Rock Lee from winning. The, the real problem is that everyone else is blind except for Toph because she can see. If you don't know, the reason, that, the reason that Sasuke was able to punch through it and really fuck Gara up is solely because Sasuke can see the earth even if it isn't connected to the ground. Uh, Rock Lee can't do that, despite his name. Yeah. Uh, look at all that sand. Too bad you can't see it, Toph. Fucking invisible it's sand. It's irritating! Why did you why did you squeal like a YouTube poop edit? Because it makes me pain. Anyways, right. let's go on to the next one. Okay. Oh, oh boy, this one. it's Yang versus Tifa. Okay. Anyways. So just say, no, before we skip, I just kind of want to say this now because we've already had this assumption. A lot of these matchups are on here because they made people upset. They were casual upsets. And the problem is, structuring, structuring a forum like this, the people who are still upset about this to this day are not going to be donating to your Kickstarter, bruh. <laughs> I just want to note, those are the three uh, Season 2 episodes they put on there. Let me just take a look what yep. other options from Season 2 they could have no, got. No, there was four. Actually, no, wait, no, there was four. There, there was four. F- f- Wait, all no, right, wait, all yeah. right. no, wait, no, there's three, yeah. Terminator, Robocop, uh, Garotoff, and... Let me just... I'm just going to look at Season okay. 2's list right now to see what they are. All right, so... I'm not going to say I would have supported He-Man, lion uh, but it wouldn't have been the worst choice out there. Uh, Fall Luigi Tales would have... Right Luigi there. Tales probably would have been better than Mario Sonic. Uh, not to say I would have supported mm. Luigi Tales either. In fact, I still would have made fun of it, but it would have been better than Mario Sonic to me. Fog or Sector... I was the funny one. No one would have voted for it, but, like, unironically. Uh, but they would have gotten probably more votes than you would have expected, guys. Um, uh, it, it, honest, it would have gotten farther than Gara versus Toph, and I and I will put money on that. Uh, people voted for it. To be honest, if I'm you wanted, if you say, wanted an episode people. that people, that, you, that, to, like, that people were angry about the result at at the time, uh, but people today have actually showed a modicum of interest in kirby boo's right there again i wouldn't have, probably wouldn't have supported it but it is an option uh and there would be people voting for it because they genuinely like it uh which you're not going to get for like yang tifa ragna versus soul is right there uh, i'll just leave that at that um hmm no uh, one would have voted for beast versus goliath I- but it is like one of the few episodes that really warranted that would have warranted one. No, given... no, no. People actually would have. I'm pretty certain people would have because I know that. No, had, like, so many. Use. No, uh, when th- when this uh, set of options was revealed, there are two matchups that people were really upset missed the mark, and that was one of them. It, was it Fogo Sector and Beast Goliath? No, it was. No, uh, the, uh, Beyond Batman Game. Beyond. Oh yeah. wait, yeah, Beyond Nine. Well, we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh... So yeah, those are your options. I guess you could argue Mega Man Astro Boy. Some people would argue it. I probably wouldn't have put it on there, but that is an option. Dude, I would... Dude, dude. after er, the classic Mega Man got all the screen time in the Battle Royale against, you know, four other brand new combatants, yeah. I don't want to see his fucking ass again. Just a reminder that just because TMNT Battle Royale hap- might happen doesn't mean it would get rid of any of their other options, as you can see with how all four other Mega Men have gotten death battles since that episode. In season six, <laughs> yeah. you know, you know, it's not like EXE has like three really popular matchups. 
you know, Star Force could be a good a Ben 10 run back. They, they and they would love Shut to up. bring back Ben 10. Shut up. You just know, Shut up. Shut up. Shut dude, they Shut up. like they just recently Shut had a fight Danny Shut Phantom. Shut up. They they, they love Shut they up. would love like, to bring him back. What could they do? Here. They could do X Primal, they could do X Samus, they could do EXC with what were his matchups? Well, it was it was Neptunia um, uh XA uh, there is the there is there is the fucking no, not XA, Digimon not one. And yeah, there's and, and, then Ki- and then there's oh, and then there's and then there's kite from dot hack. I think that and kite from Star dot Force, hack. That's my Star favorite. Star does have Ben Ten. He also has Blue Beetle. And Volnut has a quote from Cave Story. I've saw saw one night at one point. Anyway, yeah, uh, Beauty because... Shadow is a cool matchup. That was, um. And uh, to make a long story short, not done the justice it deserved. And then Shadow got another episode, which people insist, oh, Shadow had a good episode, we can finally move on. But whenever it's brought up, people love to complain about it. Oh, Mainly Shadow, on Ryuken, um, not Shadow's End. On Shadow's End, it's fine. Shadow's End, it's fine. I, I think Shadow had he a was good episode. I, I, do, I do quite like Vegeta vs. Shadow. It's definitely not what a character should get on a death battle, but I think it's very <laughs> funny. Uh... Like, see, it's funny, but it also justifies why I don't like that series pairing, but that's something else. Um, also, as for his third outing, he was voiced by Jello Apocalypse. So just for that, I think Shadow needs to come back and get be voiced by someone else. <laughs> I don't, like, okay, like... I get this one, and I did vote for it along with Chief Slayer because I respect the grind, and I... It's also the only only one I actually care about because I'm gonna be honest, I really don't care about the rest of these. All right, I'm so not like, asking for any of them. I will gush a little bit, just a little bit, but I'll let you guys say your pieces first. Well, hurry up. Okay, you guys got nothing to say. Huh? We oh, thought you um, were gonna I, go I, first. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I gave you I gave you the floor. I gave you the microphone. You fucking stared into the thing. Okay, you look like shadow. <gasps> Uh, as it's a good matchup, I'm not really dying for the run back, generally. Like, as as I do like Shadow, but he just he does not scream four time death battle combatant energy to me when he's like not even in the top ten like most iconic characters they've used. Like he's no no he's, here's the thing. Fine, S- S- PD. I, I saw someone point this out, but it's like. It's basically like I remember them saying every Sonic character is gonna return at least twice, and I'm like, and I was gonna appear four times, and I'm like, man, Amy, tails, I mean, knuckles. I mean, I mean, not every, but like most of them, basically, like knuckles with knuckles, Juggernaut, and Amy, I guess, Amy Sakura, <laughs> and but tails, you're. you're... Yeah, well, I don't know someone, <laughs> but like it, it, it's just and also just like and, and I guess it's a similar. Silver, thing. It, 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 be quiet. Specifically, the Archie anyway. version of Silver and Sonic in general. <laughs> Sonic appears a lot. That's what that's what I'm trying to say. But also, like the thing it, what I'm saying is just like Mewtwo Shadow. I I like the matchup and I hope it happens someday. I just kind of don't want it, especially now because we're getting Bowser Eggman and also Ash Yugi. And also, like, at Shadow's fourth time as well. I would wait at least a little bit, personally. Also, That's I don't think call. the new I game still... giving Shadow new powers necessarily warrants a run back. I don't think one game okay, so... with a, bu- it's a bunch of new powers, but uh, that does it, like, I want to know what it does for his story, whether it actually finally progresses it onwards since 2006. Uh, okay, now it is time for me to talk and have my. And now tangent. I'm gonna deafen because I need to pick up something really quickly. Have fun. Okay. This is not so, a joke. I actually have to. Uh, personally speaking, what I look for in a matchup these days is story potential. If a matchup really helps expand on that, and Mewtwo versus Shadow just kind of does that the best for me. And obviously, the new powers is a good selling point. But also, the Shadow manga, what they alluded to, um, might recontextualize his whole backstory, which I am super invested in. 
Um, so Nemesis, I'm not sure if you know to, heard of this, but no, Black me. Doom might have orchestrated. Uh, Black Doom might have orchestrated Maria's death. Ha. Um, he might have made it like made this Shadow's Cannon event, so to speak. Hey, Shadow. Basically, the... what would you do if I killed this little girl? Don't do it. That's what I... an asshole would do. I am an asshole. So Quite literally. To my mind control. <laughs> that 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 mind control uh, clip's the thing I associate Black Doom with most these days. Cause I I love to just bring like yeah. I love to bring it up. People are like nah like Mew, what stops Shadow from, what stops Mewtwo from just like destroying like Shadow's mind with mind control and it's like so you're immune to my mind control. <laughs> it's just the funniest clip to just throw in, especially because people oh, yeah, will, like argue of, about the, the the context. Speaking it's like, of I don't things care. That, speaking immune. of speaking of things that Shadow's immune to, um, in the Metal Overlord fight, he tries to use Chaos Control and Shadow just ignores it. Yeah, I I so, saw something about that. Okay, so, anyway, back to the story thing. Um, there is a lot of things you can say that the original Shadow vs. Mewtwo fucked up. Um, but the thing that gets In fact, me most let's, these let, days... Let's actually Mewtwo... talk about what it did right. It did have the correct characters represented with the sprites. So, anyway, um, yeah, the main yeah, thing that I further. think it fucked up the most... Um, it's it's when Mewtwo scanned Shadow's entire life and didn't react. I mean, he's I in a cave. It that, could be video I, game I, Mewtwo. It could be, but no. The analysis is hard focused on the anime. It is really shit with Amber. Anime like anime that. Mewtwo can't mega evolve. At least like the main one, the the, the powerful one that kicks ass. Genesis movie. That's the different Mewtwo. Did you, did you not know that? I, I know that, I know that. I just like trying to prove you wrong anyway, because I am a spiteful little man. Alright, uh, let, let, let me be clear. Uh, no, no, uh, I, I, the, the main Mewtwo does not fucking need to Mega Evolve. It is strong enough on its own. Its big return no, in Pokemon that. Journeys was Pikachu attacking it, and it going, fuck off and die, and just like one-shotting Pikachu. If, if you're talking right now and your mic just died again, that would be really funny. I think he's been banished to the Shadow Realm, everyone. So, fun fact. Everyone knows the backstory of Mewtwo from Pokemon, the first movie, Mewtwo Strikes Back, which is that he was a clone of Mew created from an eyelash, a fossilized eyelash, uh, and during the maturation process, like, in, in the tube, uh, there was Amber, uh, Amber 2, the clone of Mr. Fuji's daughter, uh, and she dies along with the clones of the Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle that would, based on their patterns, become the basis for the uh, Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise that show up in the original film, the uh, like, midway through. Uh, however, uh, so while that is the me, origin sorry. of Mewtwo in the anime, and this is, that's the most well-known origin, in the original video game, uh, Pokemon uh, Red and Green, it's pretty much just stated that that's not how Mewtwo came to be. Mewtwo was artificially inseminated into a whole-ass Mew, and is literally just a born child of a Pokemon that I believe cannot breed. See... Anyway, that was just fun a little fun to... uh, little history lesson for people because yeah. most people don't know that origin for video game Mewtwo because they because the anime did it so much better uh, with the first movie and the uncut story of Mewtwo which is also originally I believe an audio drama of some kind like a radio thing uh, but was adapted into a okay, like, anime um, short anyway I will continue my tangent now I was interrupted sorry um, yes, it was job I'm later back stuff. you finished you Not... nothing all right no continue I have been unbanished from the Shadow Realm. I no, I was interrupted for half of the time you were going. I to play second, Monster I Reborn and, and I resummon Gumball Viking for my GY. Then I also play uh, yes, Monster I'm... Reborn and I bring back Hyper Star Man. It's time uh, to I duel. I tribute Hyper Star Man. Shut the fuck up. Um. So, the main focus for me 
is the core connections what did he even of them for? finding their purpose. And then, then... <laughs> <laughs> you're no one's no, gonna that... get that. No, no one's gonna no. get that. Hyper, every time I open my mouth, I fucking see that please wrap it up sign. What, what do you think Mewtwo's <laughs> gonna do when it scans Shadow's entire history and he is uh, Sonic talking, uh, Sonic and Knuckles talking about killing all those black creatures? What do you think Mewtwo's response to that's gonna be? He's gonna be like, what the, what the fuck? What These the are your fuck, friends? Dude. I have shinies that would be really offended right now. <laughs> um, anyway. Them discovering throughout the fight that they kind of had the same purpose for potentially the same reason, I think would be such a strong emotional core. And the idea that I always loved that I know that Death Battle will not do is that Shadow's going to fall back to the earth. Mewtwo's just going to be watching over him. Then he sees Amber because it's going to be revealed that he's dying and going to the afterlife. Amber asks him if he ever found his purpose. Mewtwo says yes and that he is delighted to share the fact that there are others who share it as Shadow opens his eyes and just kind of lands on the earth and looks up. I feel up. like, to make that less funny, like, the, the landing, Mewtwo should probably, like, before it dies, use the last of its psychic power to make sure Shadow lands safely. Because otherwise, if Shadow just goes, DONK, onto the floor, it'll be really funny on the ground. <laughs> you, you gotta have Mewtwo, like, yeah, right, you know reach what? out when Amber asks if you find your purpose, and when Mewtwo's responding, it looks down and, like, stretches out his arm as its arm's slowly fading away use the last of its psychic power to catch Shadow and stop him from dying in impact. That would that would be the this way you'd be... like marry that without making it look hilarious when Shadow lands. I yes, no, I feel like this is going to be a huge ask. But if they were able to do that, if they are able to do this rematch, I would have wanted That's to That's an be idea the most for a, a, a certain two that will certain two people we'll talk about later. Anyway, all right. I want this to be the most emotional ending to a death battle up to this point. And anyway, I know that's be. a huge What's ask. What's next? Uh, okay, fine. All right, fine. I'll do a, one more TLDR. I also like the new power sets. I also like the idea of Mewtwo going for a wi mind wipe, then see Maria, then pausing. Mewtwo um, goes for a mind wipe, and Shadow love... goes, "I'm actually immune to that." <laughs> I also love the idea of Mewtwo trying to use Guard Swap and taking all of Shadow's reins out just for him to have a combo open now as he does a light dash to retrieve them and surrounding Mewtwo. No, he uses Guard Swap um, so and I... takes all the rings and he also accidentally takes the inhibitor rings. Oh, that's also funny. Uh-oh. I have made a terrible miscalculation. <laughs> ah! Shadow's like, <laughs> taking my rings. You greedy bastard. <laughs> you're not maybe a boy. You're a little bit of a <laughs> fucking idiot, maybe. The, these rings weren't meant to protect me. They were there for you. And you just put them back on immediately. And now they're gone. He's like, oh, have them back. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, you caught me monologuing. Oh. You bastard. You sly dog. I didn't even see that. Well, now coming. I don't really want. Well, now I really don't want them anymore, and he takes them off anyway. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna take these off, right? Like they're not like bound to me. Look at this, boom, they're off. Don't even, don't even ask me how Ooh, I made like... them grow so much bigger to get off my giant mitts. I don't even know. I never figured it out. It just kind of happens. All right, anyway, we can finally move on. I'm just saying, Mewtwo. Okay. I barely know my own backstory. How do you expect me to know how my powers work? What's next? We're done roleplaying. All right, uh, next is uh, Tracer versus Scout. Okay, we can skip it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, sure. Okay, uh, that's the next one. It speaks for itself, I think. I mean, it's like, okay, look, I'll be fair. I know there's some people who genuinely push it and like, yeah, it could be use a better episode, but I'm going to be honest. I really don't care about it. It's like TF2 has gained literally nothing. Overwatch uh, it's, has... It's, no, it, no, it has... Literally it, Red DM'd me this and I felt so sad reading this out. Ever think about how in a decade of Overwatch, the story has progressed like a few weeks? I don't care. Like, I, honestly, I really don't care. Holy I, shit, that's progressing it, even slower than The Last of Us. Uh, a franchise with like yeah, five no. games that are all the same two games yeah 
No, anyway, um, TF2 actually did get a lot of stuff, just not from new updates or anything. It's more so renovations and versus stuff. Um, there was a Saxon Hail update, I think, a while ago. So, um... Oh yeah, at revisions least, on like it... a bunch of V versus stuff. I'm gonna be honest, a lot of it just kind of take this with a grain of salt, people. I'm just, I don't like. I'm just saying. I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm just, but I. But it just seems very silly. I think like ninety percent of the other mercs have a matchup that could be done that would be more interesting and not require Overwatch to be there. Hey, we were talking. We were talking about battle royales. TF2 merc royale. We were talking That's about red versus fun blue, to side versus soldier. Yeah, there you we go. We were talking about first-person really... shooters, Call of Duty, Richtofen versus Medic. That's yeah, like, like, and, like the big and FPS if franchise. You and yeah. if for some convoluted reason, um, I'm going to gas up this one matchup that I saw pitched to me that I really like. If you want a sweet two front back, Pyro. Stop, stop. No, I know the context of it, and it's really funny. No, we, no. I mentioned Biff what, what earlier, mean, Scotsman versus Demo Man. <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, wait, wait, wait. You say there's context. I don't even know what you're talking about. I just think that's changing. He has no idea. context. You're the only one with the context, hyper. Oh uh, well, then now, now I'm just not going to mention it. Oh well. Okay. Anyways, no, no, last no, dude, one. I want, I want, Interesting uh, before, that there was no Dante do, Bayonetta on this one. Interesting they didn't go with that yeah, over Tracer Scout. I think it. I think it's really funny to me. Just a mental image of Sweet Tooth like doing this whole twisted metal thing. And then there's Pyro just chilling in a bumper car. <laughs> He's a very okay, silly. but imagine you see Sweet Tooth holding the ice cream. Uh, it's, it's a first-person shot. And then Pyro blinks and you see his vision. Everything's different except the ice cream's exactly the same. And it's like a really no, elaborate ice cream. The ice cream is different. The ice cream is different, but only because there's a cherry on top. Just make it like a really yeah. big... Like Sweet Tooth just... Like Needles just made a massive ice cream. And it, it like that. <laughs> that's just basically unchanged. Everything else is different, but like that's pretty much just the same. Mm. Anyway, no, imagine imagine if or when Pyro wins, he he gets another ice cream and just kind of sticks it in his little valve hole. Just shoves yeah. it in, the, in Anyways, his own face. The last one, the one people think, oh, wouldn't it be really? F it's not funny if it won. The last one is this the unnamed one that I refuse to mention because. I, I try to keep my biases, but I'm going to be honest. I despise this as an entry with every fiber of my being. Oh, I just saw the Transformers 1 Sentinel Prime got a Studio Series figure. <laughs> awesome. Uh, this is a joke. This is a joke. This is Slash Jage. Slash Jage. I'm not actually judging you people for it, but at the same time, I... We don't need Ben versus Al 2. We really, really How, don't. Wait, and I they don't just care. Skip, they just skip, like, two seasons. Yeah, Ben Howe's last one, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what... I don't know what season 5 episode oh other to Crash vs. Spire which is the one that I was hoping would make it to cut but didn't because I wasn't loud enough but be up, other make the than cut that I can't they needed to put Mario else. Sonic on there yeah but it's... I don't know alright so like listen I mean ben to be honest coming back I wouldn't, in, in I, wouldn't a vacuum. Have, I wouldn't have hated Jotaro Kenshiro getting a run back considering how much I do not like how that episode handled anything Crash Spyro would be a good choice <laughs> Um, I feel like, you know, I feel like Sora vs. Pit's the kind everyone would hate, then the episode would be really good, and then they'll just immediately forget it existed and start talking about Pit's other matchups. Sora, so, listen, Sora vs. Pit is both characters desperately need, need a run back. My god, do not do it against each other. I guess technically Mario vs. Sonic 2 was a season 5 episode, but shut the fuck up. Oh my god, you got- oh my god, you told people to shut the fuck up and the police are already on the <laughs> way. Season 4, oh, season here. 4 had Lara vs. Nathan, that wouldn't have been a bad choice. Uh, Batman Beyond vs. Spider-Man 299 wouldn't have been bad- wouldn't have been a bad oh, choice. Oh yeah, uh, uh, bro, we were talking about how we would get back to that. Uh, I guess we could talk about it real quick, because I got nothing to say on Ben vs. Hell, other than I would like Ben to come back, probably against Beast Boy. I still have feelings for that matchup, I like it. No. I, I would like to. I dropped my, my, my mouse. Period. My mouse has fallen, and it cannot Hyper. return to me. I don't. Hyper, it listen, has returned I, to me. I do not trust this community. I do not trust this community with Ben Ten, ever again. Period. Dude, I. Blah, 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 blah. I remember when Ben, Ben versus Hal was Hyper's most wanted matchup, like initially, 
so this is all the more cathartic and kind of funny to me. I don't like listen in a vacuum. I would actually really like this. This would be up there with Chief Slayer for me, and, and I really like it. But I know the community will be super unfunny because it... they will spam <sighs> stupid meme for over so many years because they think they have some semblance of comedy in their veins where they don't, and they will never be funny. And I, don't I think just this needs I... to run back anyway. Yeah, no, and it doesn't. It's like the episode's just like fine. Just the ending sucks, and the analysis and the ending analysis. Was just... It would be the same episode, and... but there would be. Uh, like slightly different aliens used uh it would have a different ending the conclusion would actually be good uh the analyses would be pretty much completely unchanged uh and we would have to ignore the fact that kyle rayner is literally in the season lineup and he literally has every power hal does plus more yeah so like there's no reason there's no reason i don't i don't want to see it but well which is basically to sum things up, um, hyper and op hyper versus Oppenheimer is more thematic. Shut up. Because listen, I'm not um, gonna, so I'm like gonna, I'm not going to be a happy camper if the, if this is the winner. I mean, I, I obviously will. Yeah, yeah I'm not going to go yeah. camping. I'm going to set places on fire. Oh, Pyro versus here, Sweet Tooth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, in a vacuum, Ben 10 versus Beast Boy is still really fun to me, especially if you focus on 2013 Titans in terms of like visual portrayal. That's the one people wanted, but then like, uh, uh, I don't want to talk about it too much. But then people the reaction really when Beast Boy wins cause... would be so bad. At least with <sighs> Hal, there are like a handful of people that go, "I mean, look at Hal's got crazy powers, so I guess he could have something I don't know about." No one, no one's gonna buy it with with Beast Boy. No one's gonna buy it. And then, in the, and then in the and then in the and then in the announcements they talk about how Beast Boy can become mythological beings that trump Superboy in power. Uh, and then it just goes uh, downhill from there. I don't want to see that. I don't. If I'm not mistaken, that, pretty much. Most... Anyway, uh, let's talk. All right. Let's talk about the let's talk about the big matchup that got away um beyond 2099 that was one that people were really well, the big matchup that got away is full and not Sector. seen there yes but let's let's you, talk you, about the you, you fuckers one. better hope that that um, won the the not death battle vote because that's the only way you're seeing a full or sector two proper <laughs> um so spider verse that's a movie that people like and batman beyond is probably timeless um terry mcginnis he's my guy miguel not so much he's he's probably a little bit racist not a fan of that but um he looks cool he's in fortnite that's about the extent i have with these characters I mean, to but, be f most people will know Miguel up. from his from his Spider Verse oh, self, who's uh, pretty damn different to how he's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I wonder if they would get Todd Habakorn again. Hmm. Um, but if they went all in on the Spider Verse aesthetic, neon lights. Yeah, there was there was nothing indicating that the original took place in the future, did it? The indication it took place in the future was the fact that it was Batman Beyond a Spider Between I might be there. That's it. Yes. <laughs> it honestly looks like it takes place like a street away from I Beast vs. Goliath. Yeah. Who the shocker then he gets disemboweled by Goliath as he screams in character like a guttural screech with no coherent words or anything because he's such a peaceful guy. And he just says, Who the shock are you? And in the background you can just hear Beast and Goliath going, Oh as they fall off the building. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this has nothing to do with anything. But I'm thinking about how if Gwenpool got on, she would, like, Rose Wiz and Boomstick about how Marvel characters were, like, characterized in the past and, like, hyperfixate on Beast vs. Goliath as an example. That would be a fun gag to do if she got on, but that's yeah. not a rematch thing. That's no. just a completely Thankfully, different Thankfully, none character. of Deadpool's episodes got on this. Not that any of them need a rematch. 
if 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 Deadpool versus Deathstroke got a rematch, you know that Wade would just be like, not like us. He's not like us. And I'm not sure if I need to see that. Where, where was my home? So anyway, I think we're done talking about. Re- <laughs> uh, I think I'm. I think it got snubbed out by Omni Man versus Pardock. Oh, what a shame! Everyone was waiting for it. So that was the re. That's the rematch okay. poll. Um. No offense intended, but what the fuck is this lineup? There's we, some. There's there are have... two. There there is two ones that I could be willing enough to call bangers that I'd be willing to to suspend my own personal opinion and say alright there's something going on there there's something there's something there but I feel like a lot of these choices cater to a certain group of individuals who not only as Gumball said will not be giving you money but also do not need their voices heard they are loud enough on their own and do not need to be tricked into thinking that they have any sort of power to their voice. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to say that this is, like, a failure in Death Battle's part. It's absolutely not. There are some fun options to explore. I think the options that... Most of the options they went with, though... Um, I think I do under- not appeal to I any party who ca- who cares. I guess I understand Except why Yang Tifa, TMNT Royale, why, why which Yang I Tifa, absolutely think has been Yang Tifa and Ben Howell are there because they needed they wanted to put them in to draw attention to the rematch options. Uh so I I I get that not having them on there would make it seem a bit like disingenuous marketing. Um, but that only accounts for two of eight blunders. And I think the other choices I mean, okay. are... Okay, well, I wouldn't She's call... Player and Mutant Shadow, I think those two are fine. Sorry, not two of eight blunders, two of six blunders. No, yeah, no, wait, no, what yeah. am I talking about? It is two of eight blunders. Isn't there ten matchups? Yeah, it's ten. So there's two good ones, two blunders that I can excuse, Terminator Robocop, which I will not say is wholly a blunder, even if I'm not on board with it, and then five other ones. Yeah. It, it's like, despite, I, I, and, and I get it. I just despite, don't care for most of these things. But these, uh, aside from like two, which I'm, aside from like two, which like I'm pretty certain one of them is going to win. <laughs> Garotov is still really funny. And despite, if that was like a bit, yeah, that was, that, if that was a bit, then that's, that's a funny bit. But it should have been Fogel Sector for the bit. It's, no, it's even funnier to me because I know it's absolutely not. Oh my god! Yeah, it's just like I mean, I'm I'm excited for the winner because I think the winner is just gonna be either Chief Slayer or Mewtwo Shadow, just one of those two. I just think it's just gonna. I think it'll be. I think I'm. I will be fine with with uh, one of those two winning. Though I obviously prefer Chief Slayer winning at the end of the day because I think that would go really, really raw. Especially if they get like, ooh, obviously I would prefer Torian obviously doing for Ruby Maka because like that's just number one priority but like if that one that if, if he if he had a second choice i think that would be a really good pick too it dawns on me that if this was done a few years back absolutely link versus cloud would have been on this and it would have been the most interesting period of of people arguing over link cloud and chief slayer <laughs> it's really it's really funny to me that link cloud was such an active debate for the longest time and then when it's finally revealed that the steven versus star people it suddenly dawned on people that Wow, this isn't close. How what did, is, how what, did it wait. take this long for us to realize? Did, you guys, did we ever figure out how Link's going to counter supernova scaling? Uh, yeah, we, Among oh, us. Shit. So anyway, uh, I ma- think that's ma- it. Ma- Majora for, Universal. Uh, yeah, that's I think basically that's... it. And the rematch poll as of this recording will end in three days. And it will be announced at October 3 during the live event. Who says? Who fucking says the date like that? At October three. Okay, fine. It will. It come out exactly on October third, two thousand twenty-four, at this specific time, at this specific location, in this Death Battle live event. Back is super and above. Your email includes the rematch survey. We also need these filled out by this Friday. The chosen rematch will be announced at the October 3rd premiere event. Super Tang and Top are backers who want the VIP experience for the premiere. You must respond by September 20th to ensure you don't miss the event. We are so close to officially kicking off a new era of Death Battle episodes and we couldn't be more thrilled to share this experience with all of you. Thank you. 
Yeah. Some thumbs See, up, one point five k thumbs down, death battle, subscribe bell, six point zero four m subscribers, comments ninety three, my <laughs> profile picture, add a comment, little slider symbols. Okay. Um, See, that's yeah. all. That's all you had to say. I'm sorry. I apologize. Yeah. And I also uh, October six, uh, first episode of uh, of this year is going to air, and the premiere is going to be announced soon. Ooh. I think and we know that people I, are going to link it. I want to be honest. We're going to leak it, even though we tell them not to. It would be devastatingly, gut wrenchingly hilarious if before they announced the premiere, they dropped a preview before announcing what the matchup was, and it was like someone like Satsuki Kiryuin, and they don't say who she's fighting at the end. That would be the funniest moment in Versus history. <laughs> do That would be. <laughs> That I would lose. I would be that. That would cure my depression for like four days. That would make my month. That would be the greatest thing that they've ever done. Doesn't need to be Satsuki. Why would you want? <laughs> it just needs to be a character where the matchup is vague. Maybe the Joker. No, God. Actually, you know Spring what? Not track. the Joker. Not the Joker. Spring. Spring track. Track. Spring trap, <laughs> the boy himself. It it just says that uh, it, the the preview is just death battle always comes back like spring trap. <laughs> then, dude, people would people would absolutely oh my god fucking spring trap. <laughs> I would lose my shit. I would it would I would I would not be able to speak a coherent sentence. I would be stuck speaking Cantonese the whole week because I wouldn't be able to string together a coherent sentence of English. I w it would physically harm me and I would not have any qualms with it. I, I would I would genuinely become Rena for, for that moment, for the impact, just so it doesn't have any <laughs> lasting impact and I accept the pain. Oh. It would be oh. such a funny thing to do. They won't. All right, so so that's the, that's the bright cheery path of the meme template. But if we, what if we go down the dark forsaken road and it's fucking Batman again? I'd kill you. <laughs> I got you. I I I get you on camera and I'd put up your decapitated gumball corpse and then place they it on a pizza. They with just the rest do the the Transformers R.I.D. 2015 Optimus Prime reveal, which if you don't know, was just the phrase "someone's back" and it was just a shot of Optimus Prime's back. They just do that, but for Batman, someone's back, and then there's like. Faded text it, behind. Just, there's there's faded the text. Black. There's faded text behind the word "back" that says "bat." So it also says someone's bat. Okay. Um. Uh. I guess. Uh. F final guesses on the premiere. I guess. Um. I mean. I, I think. I feel like it's gonna be Bardock Omni Man. Bardock Omni Man is the smart answer. Joker versus Giorno is the funny answer. Joker is the one I'm gonna kill you again. I think that is the funny answer. Uh, to be fair, a Jorno preview, I a Jorno, pre Jorno or Joker preview dropping with no prior warning would be a hell of a bomb to drop. That would be a hell. Of, that would that that would be a hell of an impact to make. Dude, it's just gonna. Maybe not Joker though, They're because I like, feel like right. that would that would play on Red Runner's heart a bit, because he'd be thinking, "Oh, they didn't say who his opponent was, but I know who it is." But there's that chance. I'm not gonna go do that to Red. Do I don't think I don't I don't I don't, I do not think he would have that copium. He would not have that copium at all. He's not. He's realistic. He's a human like you know. He's us. very blunt. Anyway, um, he will be subconscious. No, just like, just gonna be like death battle is coming back, and then the next day death battle is ready to steal your heart. <laughs> I'm genuinely genuinely uh... tempted to just do to just make the someone's bat thing with Batman and just post it and go on Twitter and go look at this death battle leak <laughs> I mean, just just a fucking well I think death battle like takes fakes fake leaks as a punishable offense in the official server so you gotta be careful that's fair yeah okay um, next oh right, man that, the next category. I'm glad I did I'm glad that that my fucking uh jokey leak ending for for the beers episode did, was like is, is old then if you don't know I, I did a fucking like a fake leak of like the ending which was literally just the Goku Superman uh King Kai I don't understand but it's Beerus and Whis and I it was, that's, that, that's what I did is the leaked ending to the Beerus episode 
<laughs> and it was just like, Whis, I don't understand. You can't beat him. Sure I can. I'll just have to train really hard. No, you absolute baboon. You can't beat him. He's the fucking Superman. Well, that sucks, monkey butts. <laughs> Whis, I might be on fraud watch. I've become Gojo. Shit. I'm Lord Beerus, the strongest. Well, it is what they say, Lord Beerus. That is what they say. They're lying to Because you. they're right. It, You're lying to yourself. They say, it, they say it everywhere. You either die a white beard, or live long enough to see yourself die a Gojo. Who the fuck is they, Whis? Your mum. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this, all right. that's all the updates on Death Battle. Uh, we're gonna get some me. We're gonna get but, some regularly scheduled new. <laughs> we're still in news now, and oh, is there a scoop? <laughs> 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 huh? All right. What is hyper, it? how do you find? not know? What? A mm. big scoop. It's a big Why? scoop, I'm Hyper. Ha, ha, it's it's ha. the big scoop. Oh my god. Hyper, you were there. Uh, he does, you, he, you, you were in on the... You were part of the in-joke. What are you talking about? I don't know A anything. big scoop. A scoop. Yeah. A big yeah, scoop. The, big... the scoop. Coop. Yeah, it's the... You mean You're getting it twisted from Five Nights at Freddy's? I don't three? see. I don't even know if no, Gumball no, knows. He's getting it. Is the thing. He's he getting doesn't. it twisted. He doesn't. He's know. getting it twisted. I, I, but you don't know. You know. No, you do know. That's the thing that gets me. You do know. <laughs> what are you talking about? A big scoop. A big. A big news. A newsworthy. Big plot twist. Yeah, yeah, like uh, Twisted Metal, fucking Sweet Tooth versus Pyro. Oh, shut up. Okay, whatever. Is, 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 is it that? Is that a thing you posted in my DMs earlier? Is that? No, don't <laughs> don't mention that to anyone. That's not. No one's supposed to know about that. Okay. You you almost leaked that in front of thousands of people. You don't know what you it don't is. Know you the obvious thing. Pineapple. <laughs> you just call him a Wendy's employee. That Hyper stains the hardest. Look at the main chats and then scroll up what am i stupid yeah affirmative on the oh, oh that now, this is you know what you tell me this, yeah I, this... I, I don't even trust that you know you tell me what is the big scoop tell me you tell me come on tell me throw it at me come on <laughs> right, let's have it let's have it bring it on come on come on come on come on lad this Here is my go. this is my favorite this is my favorite podcast episode so far. I love it when I end up beefing. Hey, come on, come on. Gumball, I have an idea. That's rare. Yeah. Should, should I show him that video I, I showed you earlier yesterday? Should I show him that video? You know what you should do? You oh, should please do. tell me what the big scoop is. <laughs> I, I let it down. Let it, I put it out there. I expected you to pick it up, and you've just taken so long. What is it? Tell me. Do you know what it is? Do you remember? So you see, you see, um, I don't have consent from them to say it. That's their decision. So I'm just not going to mention it. Hey, yeah, Jamie and Eve's are dating. That's it. I fucking said it publicly. Ooh. In a fucking live stream. Yeah. You, you, were, you were in that live stream, Hyper. I know. You were there when we were making scoop jokes. TLDR. <laughs> no, fuck it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna timestamp this and send this to Gem and Eves, and they're gonna kill me. <laughs> you don't know the context of TLDR because it's hilarious. I'm just gonna keep saying that now, and no one's gonna know, <laughs> except for some people. You know, actually, I'm gonna explain it to you the context. Good, because I've had like a four uh, minute, I've I've had like a four minute long face palm going on. Okay. That is yet okay. to yeah. yet to okay. end. Okay. 
Look at this. Look at this video. Maybe this will make you happy. Don't say what happens in it, though. You absolutely cannot. You do know that I'm like recording myself, right? Like. Oh, you, 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 maybe uh, after then. Maybe you after. Fucking. Then. <laughs> you congrats. Breathable, you breathable Ooh. font. Congrats. Ooh. All right, let's move on to the next thing before um, they kill each other. Okay, I'm sure I, Jim and I, I took a look at it on my iPad. Wonderful job. <laughs> That's the TLDR. <laughs> I showed it to Jim and Eves and they absolutely died. It was super funny. I... All right, I think we move on to versus Void now. <laughs> okay, so welcome to Versus Void, where we talk about the vo Versus, because conflict is eternal no matter where you look. The oh, world's a sad place. I just realized the trailer for my Not Death Battle 35k special would already be out yet by now, by the time this episode, this podcast drops, which means people watching this probably already know, uh, which means that you two should probably know. Yeah. Uh, what if? Okay. What if? How about this? How about this? Let's let's do it this way. Uh. All right. Uh, let's do it this way. You know, let, let let's do it this way. This is the way we'll do it. Let's do it this way. We'll do it this way. This is how we'll do it. Let's do it this way. This we'll do it this way. This is how we'll do it. This is how we'll do it. We'll do it this way. Yeah. No, no, yeah. No. I'm fine. I'm fine with doing it this way. Let's do it this way. I'm going to post the unlisted trailer here, uh, and you two should watch it. Okay. And I'm also going to. Just... All right. In the mean. Uh, you know. Yeah, you should just just keep talking to the stall for time so that uh, it's not weird. Good idea. I'm going to put this trailer in this video too. Let me timestamp it. And uh, here you go. Here's the trailer, everyone. If you haven't seen it. This is... Oh my god, this is... Oh, this is nerve-wracking. How... That's not a response I expected. No, I, I, I'm really tense. I'm just seeing everything, like, get shown off. Oh, my God. It's... 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 Okay. Oh, my God. It's... Hyper, you sound, you sound aroused. Yeah. I think that is an okay choice. Oh. My. Oh my god. Hopefully you didn't oh stop my the god. video early. Oh my god. Okay, I'm actually fucking hyped. Oh my god. I, I, I had another one that I was rooting in my soul. Anyways, did you, I, you didn't right, finish gonna, the video gonna, early, gonna, did you? No, no, I'm no, still... No, 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 I didn't. No, I'm still... I, I, I saw it one. Um, I will be wearing the suit to the premiere, just like Black Adam vs. Apocalypse. <laughs> you saw the plot. Oh, and I see this little that. thing. The, all right, all right, all right, hold up. Oh. Okay. You're awesome. You're awesome. <laughs> you're so awesome. You're so awesome. Yes, you're just so awesome. You're so awesome. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, You're fuck so yeah, awesome. dude. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm waiting Yeah. That's what it's all about. So, both of you have seen the results. I am ecstatic. I am excited. So, oh, as... No. As mentioned right, in the video, uh, uh, all right, when it, uh, only one of them is likely to come out. All right. Well, not even likely, might okay. come out this year. Mm -hmm. um, uh, oh, oh my <laughs> god, I got I got recommended another Hoodie Dude reaction. Martian Manhunter fanboy reacts to Silver Surfer versus Martian Manhunter. Oh my god. I <laughs> dude, that is out. Gonna, dude, is, dude, I have to dunk on Silver Surfer. It's going to be so funny. <laughs> 
All right, that's something I'm going to check out as soon as this is over. I, th Watch who actually, dude's I'm reactions, by the way. Actually, I'm glad you reminded me. I, f I haven't gotten around to checking that out yet. Hoodie okay. dude is so fucking funny. Dude, the Discord one was one of the funniest things ever. So because... <laughs> I don't want to spoil... I don't want to spoil why, but it is so hilarious. So, because there's not a lot in Versus Void, I'm going to spend this time to talk about my show again, because uh, the thing just finished. Uh, the fun fact, the last one, the last matchup to get a vote, was indeed Kevin versus Shulker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, the, the order they're shown in that trailer is the order that they ended up in, aside from the last two, or because of what I did. Uh, I was a little surprised that Raiden Santa Claus remained at, like, went down to the bottom after doing pretty decent in the opening burst. Uh, but yeah, that, that was the loser. Um, which means, at least this time, Hyper's matchup wasn't the one that lost, but he didn't give one this time, so. Yeah. I mean, the one I was rooting for the most was, uh, Hydrogen, uh, <laughs> Bomb versus Coughing Baby. That didn't do bad. I think that, uh, was just barely out of the top five. I think that was number six. Pretty close between that and Kenny versus Yang. There was, there was like a four vote difference. But okay. like, the closest difference was for the third spot. Gummy Bar versus Crazy Frog and Chris versus Golem was a difference of 70 to 69. <laughs> uh, and for the longest time, uh, it, it became a little less balanced as the votes went on in terms of Indominus versus Sharktopus's lead. But for the longest time, they were back and forth. It was genuinely like one day one would be ahead, the next day the other would be ahead. Uh, there was It was an interesting... Um, it was an interesting thing. Considering the, like, the last one that we did, literally Luigi FNAF took off day one and there was nothing that came close. Uh... Like, Maxwell's Demon vs. Schrodinger's Cat, like, did decent for a bit, but it was still always, like, a good 10, 20 responses lower. Uh, this time it was actually, it was actually tight. I wasn't sure what would win until the last few days. I'm watching the reaction right now, Hyper. Um... I've just been ignored. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I see how it is. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, I don't usually like to talk about myself, fucking... but, like, you know, I, I guess this is the sort of reaction I generally expect when I do. Dude, you know, you, you know, you know, genuinely, I'm so excited for you. Don't, don't even play into this. You're making me feel really upset. Which one are you excited for? Like, more? Hmm... The first one by a country landslide, because I think you said that you wanted to actually go hard for it, and I am really excited for that. I can promise I intend to go hard for both of them. I probably have an easier time going hard for Fogo Sector, because their sprites are definitely higher fidelity, uh, compared to what I have to work with for Indominus Sharktopus, but I will do my best. <laughs> I will do my best. Oh, uh, I, I will be watching King. The big thing um, now is that I have an excuse to watch the 2023 Sharktopus remake. Uh, and I'm, I'm a little excited. I'm a little bit excited. It looks good. It's also like a low-budget Chinese remake of a film that was not very good in the first place. So, who knows? Um, yes, but yes, but it's an endearingly not good kind of thing. Yeah, you, you can ask Biff what his opinion on the Sharktopus films are. And he'll tell you that he disagrees and they're just kind of shit. I think Sharktopus is well, pretty funny, listen. but it takes forever for anything funny to happen. I think Sharktopus isn't bad, but I think my favorite funny shark movie series of that type is the Mega Shark series, because that's just non-stop stupidity. I'm not even Shark Dana's not even in a conversation. Mm. You sound more conflicted over this than you reasonably should be. See, because the thing is, Mega Shark doesn't miss in being funny bad across its its like four films. And um, and I'm guessing like Megalodon is the bottom of the tier list. The Meg is like uh, like a genuinely okay movie. 
Uh, and Meg 2 is not... Meg, the Meg is a yeah. perfectly fine movie. I will be entertained if I watch it, uh, but it's not a funny bad movie. It's just like, yeah, they did some things genuinely good. They did some things genuinely bad. Uh, Meg 2 is a Jason Statham movie where he does Jason Statham things, and sometimes there's a shark in it. There are so many, uh, pretty much any every Jason Statham movie uh, is generally going to be the exact same. Uh, and that's not to say they're bad. I enjoy Jason Statham's work. Because he's very practical, uh, and he's got he's got he's well choreographed, and part of that's because of his own like training and experience. But maybe not the best choice to pick a guy like him to lead your fucking shark movie. It's like when they chose The Rock to play the main character skyscraper, and I'm like, I'm supposed to believe this is your everyman Joe. You can put him in a leg cast that doesn't stop him from being built like seven trucks. You're watching the reaction again. Okay, I, yeah, okay. Uh, no, no, I'm filling, I'm filling out job work again. I got something in my Gmail. But something about uh, I think uh, expanding on an app, uh, job form. Bottom of the list would be like Shark Exorcist, like that kind of movie where there's like almost no shark and it's just bad and boring. At least like Mega Shark, uh, uh, Sharknado's past one. Beam, are, even like two headed shark attack. Beam, I'm using. Okay, no, Shark Exorcist being on the bottom sounds so justified when you have a name like that and it fails to deliver. Oh, that feels that so name painful. That name goes so hard. The, the, there's two ways to go about it. Either a demon shark or a shark that is an exorcist, and both of those are amazing. And it's just there's a demon shark that shows up as like one stock like green screen effect, tinted red, every now and again. Not good. I want a movie where a uh, shark, like, is an exorcist. That would be really funny. I think that'd this be is... pretty awesome. RCC, Hyper was the one that wasn't listening. Um, so anyway, uh, we can move on. Hey, it's to... because I got uh, DM this. You might, you can show it on screen if you want, but uh, someone finish this up for me. <laughs> Okay. I like how much oh, this guy okay. has to uh, crouch. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, Chief! This is a really bad situation. Look out, bro! It looks great. Chief is about to die. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't understand. Uh, Doom guy's doing it as a two-hand weapon. Chief has his one hand, so he can go in for a sucker punch. That's that's gonna that's gonna turn the tide. Bro thinks he's a fucking adeptus astartes. That's okay, a so anyway, space marine, if you uh, know. what else is what? What? what uh, also, in versus Void, the debut of another versus show. These things keep popping up. Um, for Infinite versus Shadow Mewtwo of all matchups, and don't walk away just yet. I promise, Infinite is actually kind of cool in this one because this is a fully 3D fight. If I'm God, not mistaken, I can't believe they they that... made him so out of character. Yeah, he's fun. Yeah. You know, like, he's just legitimately really cool in this. I like that. Obviously, since yeah. it's, like, a premiere show, there's obviously <clears throat> some things to work on. Like, I think Shadow of Mewtwo's VA just kind of sounds bored. Then again, I have no idea what he sounds like. He could just sound bored like that in, in, in canon, so maybe that's accurate. I have no idea. There is no canon. Oh. Shadow Mewtwo is only in Pokemon, to my knowledge. And I don't recall oh, if wait, he really? ever. I don't recall if it ever even speaks in Pokémon. I have not had a lot of experience with Pokémon. Hmm. Okay, then I. Uh, yeah, then I. I yeah, no, this is such a really weird uh, premiere show. But if they really like that matchup that much, then yeah, sure, go for it. I mean, I'm yeah, curious the how they really spent cool like things. any time talking about Shadow Mewtwo, given the fact that it's. It, it's just not got a lot. Like, it's got moves, but, like, I mean, hell, I'm looking at its moveset uh, right now. Oh, my God. What, how boring is that? Why are, her, why are so many of its moves Psywave? This is not an attack on the show. This is an attack on the game. Why is just Psywave, Psywave, Psywave? 
Or is it just Bulbapedia's portraying it really badly? Zen Headbutt, Miracle Eye, Recover, Reflect, Flamethrower, Thunder, Earthquake, Psystrike, Strike, Teleport. Also, this one knows Teleport, but in the like, actual Mewtwo can't. That, that makes sense. I am glad they went with, like, Mewtwo X for their Shadow Mewtwo, though, because you never see Mega Mewtwo X get to do anything. Yeah. Oh, okay, there's exclusive moves in the Shadow Mewtwo X, in the Mega Shadow Mewtwo X boss fight. Alright. Okay. That's neat. I, I'm not, like, crazy about Shadow Mewtwo. Like, the design goes hard in Mega form, but in regular form, it just looks like a black Mewtwo with a glowing tail. That giant clash at the end with like their huge energy, uh, with like their huge energy attacks is just so awesome. Whenever when Mewtwo had teeth in the Detective Pikachu movie, yeah, I'm glad I'm glad I didn't suffer alone. I didn't have and to watch it. I didn't have to rewatch Detective Pikachu for my uh, Pokemon movies ranking, but if I did, it probably would have still managed to make the top ten. No, it's a, it's a pretty good movie. It's alright. I like how the Pokemon... I like how the anime Pokemon theme song is just like the theme song for the news. I don't think... I don't, I don't think it would have made top five. I really like those top five movies. I don't know. Anyway, uh... Anything else? Uh, nope. I... Yeah. Yeah, no, it was just a really cool premiere. I, I didn't... Okay, uh, this is no defense. I just don't care much for debate sites most of the time. But when I heard them drop it out of interdimensional outer reversal, I'm just like, I'm just going to leave now. Uh... <laughs> I don't really care about those kind of stats. I'll just wait for when, when I finally finish Mewtwo Cooler. None of those stats going on, but the debate was interesting, to say the least. Mm. The debates okay. for Not Death I Battles like this I are really did. funny, because it's usually just, like, one person will research the characters, and then I'll go to Huan, and I'll go, Alright, hear me out. Shut up. Listen. This is everything. What do you think? <laughs> Except Link Link. Link Link was just, like, constant back and forth. Huh. Okay. The longest debate was Robert the was Robert the Tire versus Killer Tomatoes though. I've said this before. That debate was over a year. What? We because of how long the episode actually took like... to get out, we spent more than a year talking about and like going back and forth on who wins. Cause like there was like all these different devices that the tomatoes may have access to, Dr. Grand Green may have access to them as well, and he could be part of the fight. Uh how many tomatoes are produced every year and like like, that sort of detail, like, how much power does Robert really have? What can Robert do? Can he possess anything bigger than a tricycle if he if he was killed? It was... Oh, it was something. It was something, let me tell you. You're making, you're making it sound like to me that every debate, as soon as you start a debate in the not the battle research circle, it's going to basically look like the set of 12 Angry Men. Research circle, it's a research line. It's me and Huan, and sometimes I'll ask Rina to do a calc, and she'll make a triangle. Alright, right, this is still the funniest mental image. It's 12 angry men, but instead it's one Australian man, another guy, I don't know the... Huan's also Australian. He lives literally like a 30-minute like walk away from me. I am learning new... Or rediscovering new lord is probably was probably said before, and I just don't remember. Huan has always lived pretty close to me. Okay. Um. All right. I think we can move on to the next category now. Music moment. All right. I have no idea what's here. I've I not don't... kept up with music moment in any regard, even less than normal. I have been very swamped with my Halloween video that I'm hoping to get out on Halloween, and it's over an hour and a half long already. I have been focusing on IRL stuff, so 
Also, Let I am me... in a bit of a weird Al Yankovic mood, so that might have distracted me a good bit. Let me... We'll talk about that in a moment. Let's take a look. Ah, uh, that's not how you spell Yates. That's Brandon Tates. That's, that's a different spelling. That's something completely unrelated. Let's see. What has Brandon put out? Uh, oh, Art of Command. That. I have not listened to that. I want to... Uh, that's Jean-Luc Pickard versus Grand Admiral Thorne. It's, uh, oh, it's a great matchup. Oh, I love the matchup. Haven't listened to the track. Don't know if it's good or not. Uh, yeah, I will uh, listen to it during the editing of this thing. Yeah, uh, I wrote them. I, 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 uh, but, uh, started, starting with that, uh, DD remasters of uh, mainly just one. It's. Right, I've missed it. Lost Ice Storms. Meat? We talked about Blood Moon last time. Yeah. Yeah, Lost Ice Storms. Yeah, this is a humongous improvement from the original one. I love how this sounds so much. Cool. Ah. Cool. You can't you can't say more. Yeah. All right. There's I, also. I like. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. 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 I, I I was about to say I I just like the I just like the ambient effect to it. And just the build, and it makes oh, the build no. up to it even more epic. Anyways, uh, yeah. We have so Devil May with, Drive, uh, Robbie Reyes versus Devil Man. I feel like Devil May Ride would have gone harder, but you know, you, you, you. Yeah. Uh, wait, did we talk about Aqua Aqua before we? Yep. We did. Uh, okay. you tried every you tried everything your power to skip it, so I was able to talk about it anyway. Okay. Uh I have not listened to this one either. Track art looks great. Uh, I can just I can tell that's deck. That's absolutely my son. Uh and I uh, uh, I'm sure it's cool. Maverick Unmasked. Mega Man oh, yeah. And yeah, Human uh... Supremacy, which is actually interesting. An elusive man matchup. Never would have thought I'd see it. Uh, Mass Effect Elusive Man. Track art goes really hard. Uh, but it is a Ben 10 matchup, so it's probably bad. But, you know, I mean, it's probably a good track. I mean, it's it's Mass Effect. Wow, that was an elaborate music moment. Um, yeah, because yeah, cause we haven't had much time to catch up on tracks. But, yeah, no, that I, I really like the remaster for Lost Ice Storms, and... Uh, the art for Devil May Drive, it goes super hard. Alright, what, like what is what is there with done? A failed mother's wings. Freya versus Raven Branwen. I'm assuming the one from or the Freya from Ruby. And God from God. God. Yeah. I That's know who Raven Branwen is. Yeah. I get it. I don't know why. Actually no, I don't get it, because Yang isn't fucking dead. <laughs> the boulder is dead as shit. And Raven hasn't had a redemption arc yet. Alright, we have Angel of the Rebellion. Uh <laughs> This this one actually just makes me sad, because now I can't think of Code Gears without thinking about what's happened to Code Ment. Um but it's 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 Callan, whatever her name is, versus Ange or Angie. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know these two very well. And the last Me one is either. Fallen but Not Forgotten, which is Genji versus God. However, I pronounce this, it's going to be pronounced wrong. But it's a League of Legends character, so it doesn't deserve to be pronounced correctly. I will say that I think it's funny that Genji gets a seven minute commission track because I feel like you can watch all of his lore in that amount of time. Yeah, yeah. probably. That's the only one I've listened to this this out of all of these because I was just kind of like, oh, Genji. And uh, yeah, good? no, it's good. I really like it. I really like the idea. This is not actually a Genji track. This is a track to listen to when watching all of the Overwatch content that exists. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. We this is a this is definitely a, an L for us. We've just not had time. 
Uh, and I've just been informed by my computer that there yeah. was like, there's been a car accident near where I live. That's wonderful. I'm sure I'll hear about it on oh, the news. Alright, oh, and then moving on, what's next? Okay, we got Paragraph yeah, Pasta. Uh, Arkham Batman right. vs. Insomniac Spider-Man by Media Mania vs. I Netflix. have Had not it. read that yet. I feel like I know exactly what it's going to be. But I feel like what's going to happen is that Batman is going to fail a quick time event, and then Spider-Man's just going to have him fucking comboed in the air for six generations. I mean, Spider-Man won for I... the reasons you obviously... I kind of just want to know whether or not they've gotten a calc higher, because I'm not like a big supporter of Arkham Batman versus Ezio Auditore, but I've always found it funny that the calc for Ezio's Da Vinci, da Vinci tank is higher than anything the Batmobile's got, and I just want to see if maybe they've got a new calc in here that makes him not get shat on by a fucking 600, 600 year old tank. Uh... I mean, uh, there's obviously the contentious Suicide Squad because of that because that game is so garbage and bad that the Suicide Squad objectively defeat the Justice League, even though they literally shouldn't have. But they just put that in. Uh, they just put that in debatable because it's like it's it's stupid. It makes no sense. If we're gonna scale Batman to the rest of the Justice League, I'm just gonna go ahead and scale fucking Ezio to like the Egyptian gods. It's it's dumb, but it, that wasn't the main argument, anyways. I mean, even with it, oh yeah, I wonder what the main argument for Batman was. I wonder if he's gonna win. He he, he didn't. But let me see if let me see what the highest thing they point zero zero five tons. That's actually kind of cool that he's got like a direct feat like that. One point seven four ton durability. That tons. that can't be it. Two hundred twenty-two tons. 226 tons. Oh. A calc for the particle accelerator feat. I'd not seen one before, but when I saw that scene, I knew it was gonna be important for scaling him. Let's go. So anyway, um, I want to announce that I am in the process of a side project. Um, one, I probably can't focus too much on because I have so many other projects and, you know, real life stuff coming up. Um, but I am starting a character blog for Weird Al Yankovic. One that I intend to keep as fictional as possible, as is comes with the territory with these kinds of characters to analyze. Um, what I have discovered so far is in terms of durability feats, it is very consistent that out of all things, Al has had his internal organs removed a concerning amount of times. He has ripped out his own heart, or, um, has had all of his internal organs removed by aliens one time. Uh, and my personal favorite in a Lady Gaga parody making fun of how she dresses up and shit, tore out his small intestine, wrapped it around his neck, and lit himself on fire for a fashion statement. This is the kind of blog that I always wanted to do at some point, but now I feel really motivated to really focus on it, and I'm excited. Hmm. Man, it, it it really pains me being the only Weird Al fan of the three. Man. What? No, I'm a big Weird Al fan. I'm just looking at the blog oh, yeah, right no, now. Me too. I'm, yeah, I'm me too. I, 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 I thought I thought you guys would have more shit to say then. I'm reading the blog I mean, right nah. now, uh, and I'm just I'm just looking at this whole like street tears scaling to heralds. Uh, there was just... It's because Suicide Squad is is a terrible made game, and the object, they objectively beat them, but they're just like, it's stupid. It's no, I bad. mean on the Marvel end. Oh, Marvel. Uh... 
We don't see the scaling chain to reach Herald tier via the ultimates as Valor's to use with logical inconsistency springing up. Okay. No problem, actually. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, I don't know. I really they, like this kind of idea. They, they brought it up, and them. then they went, anyway, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, no, I really like this idea, and I think this well, it does a pretty good job of covering it. It's it's cool. Uh, Yeah, they also released uh, the one after, but I didn't really get a chance to uh, read it, it was, and I wasn't as interested because it's a Chaos versus Kyogre that like just came out I think yesterday but yeah uh, this Batman versus Spider-Man one was really cool and I'm sh and I'm sure that blog you did Gumball is pretty cool too I just not interested in him in that aspect but his songs are pretty awesome especially that I one think, you sent me earlier I think it's a little <laughs> bit funny um I don't, I don't want to I don't want to have him in a full-on episode, but it's always fun to explore a character in this way just to see what would happen. He's pretty much just what John Wick happen? in in one in the <laughs> autobiography movie. Oh yeah, I could. I really do want to bring in his movie. I, I love that film. Because... It's, it's such a piss take. It's in the best way. You need to include the the magic floating I... orb. You need to include Weird Al's magic floating orb. Do you, have you seen that? I. Uh, yes, I remember that. Uh, um, I will be sure to include it. I want to cover my bases. You gotta I make got sure a friend that you who says that he make it clear that it's just. I got a friend. Orb. Don't yes, don't mention what this is. An orb. Yes, it's just an orb. And I have a friend who has a friend who said who, by the friend's account says that he is going to cover the bases and explore the feats of every character that Weird Al has voiced. Although my original intent with the blog was just to have Weird Al himself or characters that are meant to represent Al, like Miracle Machine. If you recognize that name, and that shows how cultured you are. Um, I already told you, I can help you get feats but... for animated Rekka. I've actually got... I did look at all the Transformers animated feats in the cartoon, and I got Rena to calc, like, the major one. Alright, that, that that would help if I end up going down that route. Um, I'm probably going to have to look at... The you can Weird tell your Al friend's friend to it. skip Transformers animated, because I got you on that. Okay. Um, I will have to look at the Weird Al show if I ever find access to it, and specifically that one episode of Scooby-Doo and Guess Who, because as Weird Al is in it. If we get a Scooby-Doo scaling chain in here, bro, it's so over. <laughs> Alright, is that all, I think? I think so. Alright, yeah, we can move on to the, the next segment. Yep, and it is uh, Official Ordeal. Uh... Yes, hypo. We we we're letting you. Is there something you right, forgot? Oh, is there something I, you forgot last time that you would like to? No, no, no. Bring up? I got called for a second, and I got called for a second. Anyways, uh, you've been in a call uh, for like two Edgeworth hours now. The, yeah, Edgeworth in Among Us. We forgot to mention this last time, and I feel very ashamed for that. He's in Among Us. It's so awesome. It's so base. It's free. Literally log on right all now. Right, you can get I, it. All right. Yesterday, yesterday I actually played. Among us, as Edgeworth to be a character us. as possible. I want to go through. I want to. I want to go through this play by play real quick. So the first imposter was already out because I deducted that their imposter deduced. pattern in the previous game. And yes, deduced. Deduced that their imposter pattern in the previous game lines up too well with what was going on, uh, because one person was closing doors way too frequently, and there's only one imposter who did that. Ever since. Um, I was followed around by one other person, and every utility I went to, it got sabotaged. If I was trying to look at the cameras, the communications would be cut off. And more importantly, if I was left alone with someone, a specific someone, the lights would go out. So yeah, well, you're I, that's how I did do. That makes sense. You're you're, right, so you're, no. you're you were doing Edgeworth, so clearly that's Gumshoe. There's nothing sus going on. He just keeps fucking up. No, uh, uh, no, I I thought that they were the other imposter, but my emergency meeting was taken up, so I had the role of engineer. 
So to get people's attention so that someone would hit the emergency button, I vented right in front of people, explained myself immediately, and then shared my hypothesis about how I think uh, the other person following me around was the imposter. They ended up voting him out, and then we won off of my hunch. Mm. I feel like there's no more in character of a way to win that. And it made me feel powerful. I wasn't even an imposter. This game can make you feel powerful as a crewmate if you are playing as Miles Edgeworth. And I think that is more than enough incentive to pick it back up. He discovered his father's body. You ruined this entire conversation with And then the exactly. Cheetahman theme starts playing. Da 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 this is going out of your salary dick, Anyway, Transformers are in Minecraft. Yep. That's all it is. I'm expecting us not to get a... We're not going to get a cool Studio Series Gamer Edition figure of it, or a collaborative, because fuck us, I guess. we got to get a terrible Godzilla and worse kill you. Anyways, I like, uh, whenever, I, whenever I hear Kiryu, I just can't fucking help but think of Kiryu Kazuma from Yakuza. Uh, yeah, uh, it's an interesting case of a crossover here. The 40th Anniversary Studio Trigger special released, uh, crossing over a ton of different worlds they've never met in Transformers, and being not only the first instance of certain characters ever being animated in 2D, uh, like the Transformers Prime cast, uh, but also being... The first time we've seen certain characters animated in decades, uh, been it's been so long since we've seen like Armada Optimus Prime, proper God Jinrai, Star Saber, like actually animated and active and doing stuff. And as a Transformers fan, I feel rewarded uh, for keeping up with the series as long as I have. It's it's uh, it's a loving tribute to the whole franchise uh, that has it has fucking Lyo Convoy fighting. Uh, Master Megatron because they fuse with lions and that's the whole joke of that one sequence and it's so good yeah no, yeah no I, I, I when I saw that I was just mesmerized I haven't seen all of them but like the good amount that I've seen mainly the Cartoon Network Transformers animated show uh, some of the 87 versions like it and uh, I can't remember all their names, but I know which ones I've seen. It was just like crazy to just see them all together. There's so like, many yeah. like loving elements. Like speaking of animated, having like recreating the final battle with God Jinrai and Overlord, but with animated Optimus Prime. Uh, referencing both the fact that animated Optimus Prime's like buff mode like does have a very strong resemblance to God Jinrai, but also referencing how Overlord was going to be a villain in season four. Fantastic. Just cool. Yeah. Fucking Bayverse got the shop. I don't know why people were so surprised, but I was very happy to see that. It is the only time... Well, it's one of the only times you've ever seen the Bayverse Autobots roll out, and the only time the 07 Decepticons have actually been, like, in a squad together. Like, as a unit of lads. Mm -hmm. God, I'm just re-watching it right now, because it makes me so happy. I know. I wish a part of me wish this was like a full thing, but this on its own is just incredible. Anyways, there's so many fun little references. Like they have Kakadu, uh opposite side with Cybertron Thundercracker because they're both comic relief characters. Meanwhile, everyone in the middle is like a beefcake. G2 Megatron, uh, Demolisher from Armada in his Power Links colors too. I made a Blitzwing, Tank or Swindle. Like there's these like. Well, Swindle's not really a beefcake, but he's got a big cannon. I guess technically... No, no, you know what? I guess technically Thundercracker and Kakudu you do as well. So, just like a lineup of characters with big-ass cannons. That's really fun. And, like, it's German Blitzwing, so it's, like, the coolest one. The shot of, like, the Autobot fleet goes so hard. Like, seeing Fort Max, Grand Max... or it, No, I think that might be Brave Max. 
one of the other maxes and Metroplex in one shot. Insane. Fucking Croaton from Cyberverse gets to show up. Didn't expect him. But it's goaded. The shot of, like, all the star screams together, the Decepticon fleet. Oh, it's just, it's so good. Armada Starscream got to show up. Weirdly, Soundwave and Shockwave are absent, which is really weird given Fangry got a scene dedicated to him. Is what it is. Ah. I love, I love that when they show all the, like, Autobot leaders and Maximal leaders, they're, like, actually to scale. Like, Star Saber and Gaijin, like, tower over everyone. Same with Diatlas. Meanwhile, Optimus Primal and, like, Lyo Convoy and Big Convoy are just, like, knee height to the rest. Even Animated Optimus is accurately pretty small. Armada Optimus being small is interesting, but I think that's just because he's not Power Links, he's not in his big mode. Fucking Prime Optimus Prime is, like, leaning over. Uh, Fort Ma- Fortress Maximus is so big that he is the entire background. That's just... It, that goes hard. The Decepticon one's the same. Magvatron's there, which makes me happy because I just got his, like, new figure. And the Nemesis is there, too. I'm in this! I'm there! It's totally me, guys. Speaking... And you know how I won't derail it this time. You can enjoy your time in the sun. Oh, sunlight. man. Fucking Lyo Convoy in his powered-up form with Lyo Jr. using Magmatron's sword. All, like, the big sword-wielding Autobot leaders just pulling out their big fuck-off blades. Some of which, like, appeared in, like, only one episode, I'll, I'll, I'll note. Like, Star Saber's thing is his sword. Same with Fort Max. God Jinrai used his sword in, like, one scene. Cyberverse Optimus, his sword isn't that cool, but seeing him animated like this, he looks so damn good. And then Galaxy Convoy with Risling. And then there's just the shot of... Admittedly, it's weird, because it's so heavily, like resampled and like it's there's a lot of fading in this shot but the shot of all the Autobot leaders just like going ham with their big attacks is crazy there's all like the the human characters there there's ah man Q Transformers Transformers Go I believe gets a moment fucking Sari doing the kicker kit from kick from Superlink that that was hype oh man uh yeah, yeah, it's still weird to me that Transformers Go gets a segment just to itself. When I would have thought having the other three-part combiners alongside it would have made sense, but I guess we don't get Rail Racer. Oh, I'm just so happy. The montage of all the memorable deaths. Man. How many of them were Optimus? Only one. Hmm. Uh, to right. go play by play, uh, the deaths chosen were uh, Dino. Or, well, first of all, Optimus Prime's original death in the 1986 movie, Dinobot 2's heroic sacrifice at the end of Beast Wars Transformers, Cliff Jumper's death at the start of Transformers Prime, um, Star Scream's very iconic uh, final moments from Transformers Armada, even including him ejecting uh, Swindle, nearly said Zapmaster, and Prowl's death in Transformers Animated. Uh, and then, technically, it looks like Optimus, but it's actually just Jinrai's death. Who is a very Optimus-looking character who is not Optimus Prime. He has a mech suit designed to look like Optimus Prime. He's also, like, twice as big. Alright, then. I'm just lost in this. It's so good. I, th- I don't think we've ever seen Spike and, like, Carly actually kiss... So, that was interesting. Like, the original family of Transformers, they rarely get to be really intimate. The animation gets really weird for the Bayverse segment, but, like, it's it's so cool. <laughs> it looks crazy. Rise of the Beast got the shop, including my goat stratosphere, the literal biff weed of the movie. <laughs> uh... uh... I was able to go on to this song for like something that's like around four minutes. It just makes me so happy. I, I, the, uh, one time I will acknowledge that handshakes is a good thing. The handshake at the end was just um, impeccable. And then Unicron's also there. Yeah. He's just like, hey, bitch, I'm going to kill your ass. He's also in the final shot. You can see him like orbiting Cybertron, like his head. 
which is still alive canonically. It's just sentiently floating around Cybertron in the G1 timeline. Anyway, we can move on to matching matchups now. Yep. Hyper's is... allowed. Hyper has my permission to go off. Alrighty. I, 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 I'm just gonna watch this. Okay. <clears throat> Sands versus the Judge. I chose this for two reasons. One, Hunter Town Anniversary happened recently, just two days ago. And two, Hyper is getting a lot of buzz right now. Uh, there's a lot more factors that came about it, mostly on Judge's end, and I decided, let's talk about it here. So, I really, really like this matchup, like, as in, it's just, as in, I was mulling it over, thinking, uh, revisiting Undertale a bit again, and thinking, yeah, no, this is just my second one, it just shot up to second place for me, as most long as I really, really enjoyed it. <laughs> Yes, Patrick. Yes, Patrick. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this matchup I am so fascinated with. I, after like I get I got into off, I started to get more of the ideas behind it, and I am really really interested in it but for the longest time people said oh uh, yeah it's a really cool matchup but there's kind of no debate because judge is like it's what a, star level and it's a, a real yo. shame that judge's style level went massively faster than life potentially immeasurable because no time exists in the nothing yeah yeah let's talk about uh, that I, so i i am i'm so i'm so disappointed like Man, this fight would seem close, but Sans can only do one damage at a time. That's kind of a problem. It's a shame. Like, the judge yeah, has, like, 4,000 health. You need to hit him, like, 4,000 times to kill him. That's ridiculous. Like, yeah. Sans and can't even yeah, kill Yeah, you only need to hit Han Sans once, because, you know... Like, yeah. even the even even the lore says that Sans is the weakest character the, the in the, in the game. The judge can't even so. play tic-tac-toe on his forehead, because he might kill him during the grid. Mm-hmm. It's just... <sighs> it's just kind of a shame, really. Anyways, well, one more all, thing. every single thing about Office fake. <laughs> I'm just gonna like. I'm just gonna go right out the gate. The judge he's is not even in the game. He's like a character from a AU fan fiction. Yeah, yeah. It's all just dreams, like that one interview that sometimes people use, which I don't understand why you would. Five but, Nights uh, yeah, at Freddy's. Uh, That's the dream theory I want to be. <laughs> But off, yeah. off does off? not exist. The development turned off. I, I I don't know how they did it, but they turned it off. The game. Is, I just know the, the, off jokes are just like based for that community. It's just about like oh, off, it, it, like Arkham Reddit levels of brain off for them probably. Yeah, but, it's like that one. It's that one time you tweeted on Twitter about how you. <laughs> one time I tweeted on Twitter and I didn't realize it. Yeah, 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 and I I'm pretty sure <laughs> multiple people have succumbed to that. Unfortunately, <laughs> I should have said. Now, I, after I have complete, off, I have completed my session. <laughs> I, I after completing my session of the video game titled "Off," with there one you go. <laughs> Why doesn't Twitter allow you to freaking edit your messages? Jesus, <laughs> but but like, <laughs> yeah, no, it it was, it 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 is. A lot of these uh, debunks have been coming about recently about offs stats and how it might be like a fraudulent verse and people are saying no no they're all still legit and some saying no there might be more questioning so it's like let's examine this one by one because it's mainly going to be on judges end because Sans is not as Oh my god! Weiss look! Yeah. The judge is a fraud! <laughs> Virus wins again! Yeah... Yes, Lord Beerus, the judge is a fraud. There's something off about that one. Hmm. Yeah. So, let's start with this. FTL, this is the big thing. This is basically, this is the big thing, because people say, oh, you see, um, the judge states that you move at FTL speeds in the nothingness realm, and basically, and that means he's FTL. So, I'm not seeing a counter-argument here. Yes, well, yeah, so guess what? Uh, the new argument has now arisen that it's only based, it's only FTL it's really based, based. It's tra tra <laughs> based tra traveling, aka that little teleport thing you do and not moving within the nothingness because um, guess what? You can stand still in it! And people saying, oh, that doesn't discount it. Yes, it does. 
that like automatically kills any arguments for it. I don't know why people say it still counts because of reasons. It's just kind of silly at to that point. To be fair, There's the like flash, the the flash can stand still at FDL speeds. Yeah, because that's obviously how it works, guys. And it's ob and obviously in context, it's literally just a, a hub world. No one would argue this for any other series, but because of just how vague and weird off is as a game, people argue all these sort of that and all, a bunch of other weird stuff for it that was never looked into for like years now until recently. Because because it's just like it's because it's just how it's vague and to be fair that is how you it, because that is how off is meant to be examined because it is very interpretation based even with the story because even that's not fully clear to anyone but that in particular is obviously just relating to just the teleporting thing you do like when you actually exit the zone like they even describe them as like I remember like one of these interviews like light speed points that you can go to so that wouldn't really scale in anything in reaction so basically that just kills off's biggest FTL feat and don't even bother using the sun because that require the sun feat because that requires using the nothingness so yeah n no judge it just uh judge just uh is just slower like there's nothing he, he can do about it now he's just definitively slower now which is how which i think is funny if i think i was about to say funny but i think it's more fair because sans being faster and judge being stronger is pretty pretty fair way to examine it because i feel like it just fits with the dynamic you haven't even like brought but, up what sans uh, speed is or what judge's other speed is what do you think you don't need to give calcs the numbers just uh, get a vague idea sans is how is how fast i want it to be and the judge is the slowest creature in the world I, I mean, Sans is like Mach 8. There you go. Or Mach 3. Slow ass. And the judge. A, a, anyway, and the judge doesn't have anything higher than that from what people have found. Like he's like Mach point four. I think people argued. I, 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 I'm not gonna. Not, don't recall specifically what the feat was, but there you go. But yeah, that's his next best thing over there, and I'm like, okay, cool, that makes it more fair. He still has a massive AP lead. How about that? Well, he's star level, See, obviously. Uh, yeah, the star thing is just like it's. Don't even bother with that. I'm gonna be honest. It's it's completely made up. It's something that they don't even scale to at all because it's just vague statements about apparently uh, the guardians making the zones when objectively they do not because in the books they say that they just ruled over them they did not make any of them mo it recently people have now argued that it's just mainly the queen and not any of the guardians because the way they make the zones is we use we form energy into context that the queen delivers to us that justifies creating a giant continent yeah we don't see or know how long I like I was surprised learning about this type of stuff when I was reading over these and I'm like wow that's really <laughs> and like I and like people say no that's still usable it's like what where is the context that's all you get there is no other context behind it like other than that other than like some of the Q&A's and things like that but like within the game itself because this is what people argued for so long how do you even argue that they made the whole thing just from that alone forming energy f forming uh, turning s energy into solid context it, it justifies creating giant land masses like are you crazy like i don't understand how that was argued for so long and not contested until just recently now like better ones is mainly just from the queen herself because like there's a q a statements that backs up her backs up her end but the problem is because off is vague we don't know how she did it how long it took and also the my parts of it might have already been pre-built so we have no idea how much of it she contributed to because we don't see it and we don't know about it and it could be argued she just they just built it so yeah that puts them at really 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 low levels of ap potentially to small building and i know people sometimes i don't know if this is true i don't know if this is true or not but uh it, it, it might make Sans stronger, which would probably be really funny and extremely cursed if he was, if Judge losing an AP to the weakest enemy in Undertale. I'm not saying he is, I don't, I don't, I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really think he is. 
But that is really, really funny if that, if that's a possibility at this point. And yeah, no, most of the judges stuff has just kind of been overhyped a lot all, all this time. Like, even some of the arguments I've been seeing, like in light of these debunks, like saying how, oh, the judge can just whittle, uh, uh, Sans can only whittle down his HP to one HP because he's weaker than the uh, judge, so he can never kill him, despite the fact that you know he objectively kills Kara, who is way, way stronger than both Sans and especially Judge too. So there's no reason to argue that he would just die, unless you're saying that only applies to that specific gaming mechanic. Which, if you really want to argue gaming mechanics against a character that canonically cheats in his boss fight, I don't think you really want to play that game. <laughs> And are also people hyping up weirdly his accuracy? Like Judge has one hundred percent accuracy, which not is not exclusive to just him, by the way. That's exclusive. That the Queen also has most of her moves are also just like one hundred percent accuracy. It's not something he hypes up as like, oh, I'm always on. I will never ever miss. Which I mean, yeah, he never misses, but that's not like a thing he hypes up. It's just an in-game stat you have to look at in order to find out. And his boss fight is also really easy. So like, I, I mean, like, cool, whatever accuracy thing it's just like how accurate are. it doesn't mean you always it doesn't mean you'll never miss like you could be like oh man i'm at, aiming at this thing i'm gonna be really accurate with my shot towards this target and like yeah if it doesn't move then yeah you hit it but if it starts moving then what are you gonna do hit it especially sans in this case is probably faster at this point and <laughs> and another thing is just saying how oh yeah no judges ability yeah, judges abilities are definitely better than whatever sans has and i'm like Sans can throw out 200 Gaster Blasters at once. The judges just make some sparkles that appear out of thin air because they might to finally have some range to it. And because of the visuals of off, it's not really presented in anything impressive. While for Sans, it's... Well, I mean, it's like, you know how many times people died of that first and final attack. It's like hell. <laughs> So yeah, no, uh, Judge, his stuff is just completely overhyped, and I know people might say, but wait, you're the big Undertale guy, I mean, look at my freaking avatar. And like, yeah, no, I, I can understand that, but like, genuinely, I don't understand how most of this stuff was pushed for so long. But like, even outside of all of that, Judge might still win anyways, to be honest. Like, even past all of this, because it really, really doesn't take much to beat Sans, because he's only like, a single digit mock. And I guess maybe like wall or small building. I mean, it doesn't matter because his HP is, will always be one. So even if he was weaker, he still only needs to hit him once. Anyway, I think Shedinja would kick the crap out of Sans. Rue, both him and Judge. Shedinja the gut. Uh, actually, you know, you know, Sans, Sans has one HP. Um, Judge doesn't, so Judge wins. Anyway, uh, that's the end of the podcast.